Hello, welcome back to Bard College. We are picking up our Wednesday campaign, Courage of Cerulea, um, at Last Hollow, where uh, we had a battle last session after uh, Jacob decided to go off uh, and try and find his compatriots. The others went to find their equipment. Swords were crossed. Um, escapes were made, and the uh, main party have uh, reconvened outside of Est Est away from Estefax Manor, uh, in order to try and exfiltrate the crew, find Jacob. Uh, where is he? Who knows? Uh, we will find out. I'm quite sure, as we pick up um, with uh, the majority of the party. Uh, so. Hi guys, where where are we? <laughs> Remind me. By a tree. I think yeah, I think mm -hmm. we said we're gonna start in uh, last hollow. Yeah, that's uh, where we were. As we stepped out of the tree, and then Tisha and Freddie would join us at that point. I think that's what we said. Oh, uh, you, you told them where you were. Um, and they had to get to you. It's not that straightforward, though. So I'm going to ask Tisha and Freddy to make a stealth check. No. Oh, no. 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 Um, okay. Freddy would give Tisha guidance on this. Oh, my yeah, God. And Tisha's got something cool, doesn't she? <laughs> Cloak of Elven kind. So she has, like, she's going to wear that. Mm -hmm. advantage. Advantage. <laughs> so guidance plus advantage for Tisha. Oh. Uh, okay, so that's a 22 and a 10. Uh, I'll just make a roll myself, bear with me. Oh. Um, Gil, uh, you pulled the guards to the... Uh, Last Watch Tavern, I believe. I uh, posted double guards there, yeah. Yeah, okay. So that explains my dice roll and why. Um, it's quieter on the dock side of the river. Um, and uh, yeah, it it's uh, maybe, I'm going to say, 10 or 15 minutes of nervous, breathless wait hiding in the shadows as uh, Tisha and Freddie eventually... Make themselves known to you guys. And and Humphrey? Sure. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> uh, Freddy, I don't know. You decide. Um, so, you're yeah, not holding you're, him. He's like his together. size. Nah. Yeah. <laughs> or at least something that looks like Humphrey. Yeah, tr true. Jewish. Guys? You're here. Hey. Hey. You okay? Hey, guys. You, you hurt or anything? Do you need no. help? 
No, gotta... no, we're fine. How are you, how are you guys? What happened? Oh. It was it was rough. Gilchrist and uh, his uh, some guards and some of his family jumped us at the uh, castle court courtyard. There, uh, we had some discussions, and then the fight started, and they wanted to kill us. So we got out of there. Did you have to kill you? It certainly felt that way, yeah. And where are they now? Where's Jacob? We, we were hoping we you don't... might be able to tell us that. Yeah. For well, you knew. <laughs> No, he never, no. he never met us. The well, last, thing, last thing we heard from him was when Mir sent him a message just after he left. And he said he's just going to look for the prisoners. We have not heard anything since, so I guess he's somewhere in the city. Uh, we should probably get out of here, though. I think we were discussing this on the way, uh, Mr. Smoke and... Amir and myself, and we uh, we said we should probably go to Undercity to stay out of the the eyes of the guards. That's probably not a good, not a bad idea. We're not. I get the feeling we're not wanted around here. We're not far from a, as far as I remember, a tunnel. Right? There's some tunnels. Does anyone yeah. know how to get there? I think the cliff at the base of the castle has got lots of them. Okay, we'll get to the cliff and then just follow until we find a tunnel. Okay. Um, none of you know where you're going. Um, uh, and... before, before we go, Dan, sorry. I am going to uh, annoy you a lot and going to cast Pass Without a Trace on the whole party. Okay. Um... Yeah, you don't have an escort, and you don't have Jacob, who's the only one who really knew the city. So, I mean, you might, whether you've seen, to, I mean, try not to, like, just read the map and go, oh, yeah, we know all these places, because you don't. Um, so whether you can find a way in to the Undercity is certainly going to be uh, the next test. Uh, if you if you, if you you know about tunnels... Um, well, uh, did, did we not... Sorry, did we not went straight past one as we went to the castle Again, from the uh, uh, it, You know, you were escorted by guards. You might have seen a tunnel. Do you know it's a tunnel to the Undercity? You have no idea. Do you know what I mean? Uh, so um, we're going to do a group investigation check and a stealth check to see how quiet we are about it. So let's do the investigation first. Oh, boy. Okay. Oh, so, boy. But that is a group fail. Yeah. <laughs> uh, this means that it takes you a long time um, to get around the city, and, uh, you know, you're scouring alleyways. You're sticking to the back streets. You're, uh, I mean, what other tactics would you try and use to find a way into the Undercity? You tell me. Mm, probably want to avoid talking to people, do we? Could, could we find we, one? We'll be looking for places where there's sudden, like, escarpments or changes in elevation, places where it'd be more likely where there would be holes where people would have mined in. Mm. They're not going to mine in the middle of a flat area, are they? Logically. So you're, you're trying to assess geography? Yeah, and Mir is quite good at that as, like, a bit of a wanderer, outlander kind of she's very good at remembering uh like terrains mm -hmm. and what she's seen mm -hmm. okay um then um i will give you all i will give me i'll give you a survival check at advantage and then everyone has to make a stealth check as well Don't forget you had plus 10 with the pass without trace. 
Shit. Okay. Given the previous investigation fail, I'm going to t- I'm going to say uh, it's taken more than an hour now. So with this plus ten to your passed out trace, the passed out trace spell has now faded. Um, however, it makes it a group success. You stick to the nooks and crannies, as we say, and you look to Mir for guidance. Um, Mir, you come across a tributary to the river in the form of a waterfall. Um, there is a, a a dense crop of trees just on the kind of downslope to the castle, uh, and this waterfall uh, uh, drops uh, into this tributary near what you think is a tunnel or cave. Uh, it certainly gives you the most cover, the sound of the water uh, and the uh, very uh, overgrown trees in the location. Uh, it's as good a spot as any that you're going to find. Okay. I'll usher everyone towards it. Okay. You're going in? Yep. Okay. Um, yeah. Gil, over an hour has passed since you uh, arrived at Estefax Manor, and your condition, if you like, worsened what are you, what are you doing um well, i think the first 20 30 minutes or so would be directing the guards to attempt to work out where everyone had gone mm-hmm. after that i mean i would assume i would be contacted by Judenna at some point during that hour if not i would contact her myself Give her an update on what's gone on. Okay. Um, Between messages um, and uh, missives, you are uh, summoned to the castle. Uh, And we'd probably say after all the guards, it would probably take you about that time to get to the castle. Uh, So for in the meantime, while uh, Gil is making his way there, uh, and the meeting with uh, Jadena uh, percolates, we will switch to the Undercity. Each of you uh, slink into this narrow tunnel. Uh, it really is narrow. Um, you can tell that this tunnel was initially made uh, as an exploratory mining operation. Uh, but it becomes really obvious that the uh, limestone um, is wet and soft and crumbly, and the this tunnel is very dangerous. Uh, the danger, though, uh, would have subsided soon after the initial excavation because the floor in front of you, about 300 feet into the cave, has just completely fallen through and you can see light and hear noise coming from below. Who's taking the lead? Mia would be happy to. Yeah, I'll I'll, uh, I'll watch your back. <clears throat> can I um So I assume we have to climb down or is there like a There is um makeshift steps. Okay. Um, it's not uh, the easiest um, descent, so uh, yeah, we can make um, we can make uh, athletics, survival, whatever you want. Anything I can do make to help me by using my climbing expertise to make sure she's got a correct footing and stuff like that. She doesn't. She stumbles. I'm there. You can give her advantage on her check with that. Wicked. So yeah, everyone so either athletics. Su- athletics or survival. Uh, everyone, yeah? Yeah, yeah. Oh. <laughs> yeah, it's real good. You guys are confident. Uh, well, maybe not so much Freddy, but the group pass. <laughs> Freddy falls on his face. <laughs> yeah. Freddy uh, falls C. Very well. Tisha would be like, Freddy! <laughs> um, you uh, you uh, are confident, um, 
uh, adventurers at this point, and uh, you climb across a few ledges, and then you find some worked stone stairs that descend into the Undercity. Um, and this is a rocky, damp expanse that's noisy. Uh, the, the the sounds seem uh, of um, workmen, pickaxes, um, the movement of rock, uh, the smell of uh, soot and cinder, uh, it, it, almost like this is the boiling belly underneath the gilded uh, artifice of uh, Last Hollow. Uh, it, yeah, like I say, it's noisy. There's uh, there's that kind of th- like thick soot in the air. Uh, it's quite hot under here, as there's not many places for the heat being generated below to escape. And as you descend down uh, a stairway, uh, it's probably uh, about uh, between six and 800 feet of stairs uh, and all of a sudden, you'll feel quite exposed. Uh, it, you, it, it's, it, there's lots of like rocks and crags, so it's not like you're noticed immediately. Uh, but you, the, the sinking sensation is that you don't have too much of an idea where you're going or where to start. You see um, over to your right um, makeshift uh, encampments. Uh, where um, scores of workers uh, move to and from uh, a place of rest under the ga- uh, under the gaze of uh, the uh, guards and uh, security personnel who watch suspiciously from their wooden towers. Um, you see boats being made and being uh, broken down in a dry dock. Uh, that you realize you could have entered the city from uh, when you made your initial choice to go uh, to the over city. Um, there's the vegetation here is relatively absent. Uh, you see broken trees and uh, damp moss climbing up the limestone walls. Um, not, but nonetheless, there's uh, kind of like a hustle and bustle. Um, a, a productivity that has been uh, that is much more uh, absent in the over city. Uh, and as you descend down the stairs, uh, you see a uh, a city guard in much less fine robes than the Dragon's Bane guardsman. Uh, probably, yeah, about two hundred feet below you. Not noticed you yet. What do you do? Um. I'm going to, um, following the feelings you said we, we have about being exposed, I'm going to recast uh, Pass Without a Trace. Okay. Smoke, Kamir, taking the lead. What What's your tactic going to be as you see this singular posted guard at the bottom of the staircase? We need to sleep, right? How do, how do we approach this? Okay. Can, can you be an ordinary oh, visitor yeah. here? This guard, no. would he would he be notified, do you think, about what's been happening? Is he working for the Savoris or does, does he um can we see can I can I make a perception check to see what he's wearing, whether it's the same sort of guards we've seen? Uh, it's not like a dragon's bane guard, which are like fine, knightly purple uh, and yellow robes. Uh, this is like a maroon coloured tunic. Uh, he definitely holds some sort of official station, but uh, other than that, uh, you know, other than the sword on his belt and maybe the singular pauldron uh, on his left hand shoulder, uh, he'd be easily mistaken for a worker himself. Uh, and he looks tired as he props himself up with his spear at the bottom of this staircase. That's, that's... What kind of time is it? Uh, it is uh, the the middle of the night, really. <laughs> that's right, because we... Shit, it is. I've been fucking around for a lot of hours. Yeah, um, I'm going like to say... Like three in the morning? Uh, yeah, that's a good estimate, I would say. 
it doesn't it doesn't look like one of the Savori gods. Maybe we could just give him a coin, go past. Should be fine, right? Yeah. Maybe maybe Tilly, you you kind of look the most normal out of all of us. Maybe you could Thank you. in for directions. <laughs> Thank you, Mir or Tisha, whichever one of you spoke for, because <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not doing voices for both. I can't no, deal yeah. with it. I know, I know. I know. Assume Mir is talking, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I'm going to assume Mir unless you specifically say Tisha, I think. It's probably I'm safest. Um, I'm a bit hit Tilly. Okay. And I'll cast guidance on Tilly. Have some help on your next... On persuading him or talking to him or deceiving him or whatever you want to do. Just be careful, sure. yeah? Yeah. Um, okay, that's going to be fun. Uh, not very good at this, but since I'm having the confidence of looking normal, and she uh, she grabs a, a bit of a, a, a small, small mushroom from her pouch, and gives it a nibble uh, for confidence sake. And uh, uh, just sort of... Humphrey comes and uh, you know uh, heals to your side and gives you a, like a nudge and wags his tail, gives you a little boost. Oh, that's awesome! Uh, yeah, um, I'll, I'll allow him to just walk past me, and I'm gonna approach the guard. And when I'm when I get uh, a bit closer, I don't want to startle him. Mm -hmm. I'm just I'm just gonna uh, I'm just gonna say hello there. I just with the dog, I want you to get make me a straight charisma check at advantage. We're just going to see how this goes, how what the mood of the guard is in. Oh, look at that! Yes. Um, she, the guard turns around and and wakes from a a, a a near standing slumber. Oh, hello! Who's a good boy? And it starts uh, like stroking Humphrey. Where have you come? Have you come all the way from the top side, all this way down the stairs? Oh, aren't you a good boy? Oh, hello, miss. Busy night? Oh, not really. It's, uh, happy to see a friendly furry face, though. Oh, there's a lot of you coming down at this hour. Where, where are you headed to? Oh, just, uh, just, just visiting, just visiting some friends. Uh, I think we got caught by. Uh, no space in the inn. Would you believe that? Um, upstairs, so... Um... Oh, it's, I heard about a big ball going on topside. Lots of important people around. It's black bound to have been booked up for weeks. Doesn't, doesn't that make so much sense? Yeah, that is exactly why there's no space at the inn. So we're just going to find some place here? Is, is oh, that I'm okay? sorry. I, I, you all look quite finely dressed. I'm not sure the Undercity's got digs that are uh, appropriate enough for you. Uh, but uh, you might you might find a couple of places. Um, now then, uh, you might, Matron's Rest is where a lot of uh, forge workers go and sleep, although uh, it's not the cleanest place. Um, to, to be honest, if if you're here in an official capacity, literally just round the corner, you've got the Hollow Union. Um, it's uh, you know where, well, what official business does take place uh, here in the Undercity? That's where most of it is, and that's where, well, lots of visitors from Topside might choose to stay if if they can't be bothered making the climb this late at night. Uh, that's uh, that's that's fantastic. Yeah, we'll we'll um, we'll probably head there. Thank you um, for your. You're service. welcome. Careful on them stairs, and he like he, he he helps you a couple of you down. Like, um, excited to see people, uh, especially the dog. Such a nice man. Uh, have a good night. Fare thee well. Mir will give him a gold on the way past. Well, thank you, Miss. Much appreciated. Yeah, I should have done that. Yeah. I've. Thank you, Amir. Um, he says, uh, <laughs> my name's Saldus, by the way. Salda. Saldus, S-A-L-D-U-S. That's me. Thank you for spelling it. It's uh, really useful. <laughs> Saldus, one GB guard goes into the notes. <laughs> mm -hmm. 
Lo dog lover. Good. Good God. <laughs> Beautiful. <clears throat> Once we're past them, they are all saying we should we should go to the matron's rest, right? Not the official capacity place. Absolutely. Yeah. Right. Yeah, I agree. I think. Uh, you guys. So, got so we we did ask him about directions, right? We. He pointed you in the two directions where the right. inns are. Yeah. Sorry, Gareth, have you, you were saying. Have any of you guys got a way to make yourself look less? Regal. Well, uh, I just want to remind, I think, everybody that except probably for Freddy and Tisha, we all have... <laughs> Tisha doesn't... Oh, Tisha needs to change because you've got her stuff, don't you, Mir? We all changed. Yeah. Are in our, like, regular mm -hmm. uh, stuff. But Freddy is his in fancy clothes and Tisha is in fancy clothes, so... Uh, no, uh, we... Me and Tisha have got ready for bed. We, Wait, uh, so you're we wearing a nightgown? No, we got redressed. When... So, Freddy's okay. wearing... Even clothes, if but... you're wearing your regular adventuring gear, you still look fancier than most people in the Undersea yeah, no, yeah, with yeah. your magical armor fancy. and shit like that. Fine. That's what you meant, sure. Yeah, Yeah, I think I think we'll be all right. Um, we just need to sort of not bring our, our attention to ourselves as we as we get there for the night. So he said that way. So, yeah, let's go. Strange down here. Head for the matron's rest. Okay. Um, you as you progress through the undersea, the matron's rest is 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 quite far away. Um, you have to cross the uh, the dry dock. Uh, and I guess the you would see most of the industry and mechanism under the city at work, even at this late hour. Um, there are supplies being winched uh, to and from the waterfall. And I guess the most impressive thing would be this tower uh, that you see. Uh, this uh, tower, you see where like a platform on the edge of it. And you see a lone spellcaster in purple and yellow official robes casting a spell which parts the waterfall like a really powerful control water spell as uh, uh, supplies are winched to and from uh, various platforms um, there's busy workers around uh, and, and you see more uh, guards uh, you know, posted in their like maroon coloured tunics. Are, what, are you trying to avoid them? Are you just trying to hide in plain sight and act like you belong? What's your tactic? Uh, I, think I would we're... say the latter. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. So hide in what plain sight? Well, what were you about to say, Lucas? Uh, well... I was just going to say, it's like 3 a.m., right? So it's not like we're going to mix with the crowds. It's busy. It's, no, it, it, it's like... busy around this area. It's an industrial 24 hours a day working oh. place. So oh, there's okay. lots of people around. That makes... We could try that. I mean, I could I could cast my spell and we could try to sneak or we could try this. Um, before we decide that, I'm just 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 very quick question for DM, just so I can uh, try and visualize this. Is the sort of, if if we count this where the waterfall, a front wall of a Yeah, it's a wall of water that cave. comes it's down. A, it's yeah. a wall, yeah, it's yeah. just huge wall of water. Yeah, I was yeah. trying to, yeah, I was thinking, <laughs> must be looking amazing there. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, anyway, sorry. Um, um, yeah, which whichever one you, you think is, is best. My spell can provide us for you know with a good cover of shadows for an hour if that's what's going to take i can cast it again so you're or... trying to sneak around or what's what's the what's the rest of you saying let's, let's just get a quick sneak or no and then get on with it <laughs> mr smoke um actually yeah maybe maybe we should just in case and most people down here seem okay, but what if someone, what if there's guards are looking around from up top? So maybe I we should who, sneak just yeah. in case. 
Yeah, would, sure. Would okay. it, maybe the two me and Tisha would look less uh, obvious that there's a group of us. If you guys had did your animal thing before, maybe you could do that again. I'm afraid I can't do that until I rest. Oh, okay. Sorry. And you, you'd need to stick. We all need to stick close together for a spell to cover all of us. So, um, so we we sneak in or we uh, brazen in it out. Well, I, th I think sneak in. I think we're sneaking. Okay. And I just, just yeah, just want to say if this takes longer than an hour to get there, I, I will request it again if you. Just yeah, I me. think to cross this to go all the way up to the matron's rest, uh, especially as you don't know exactly where you're going. I'd, I'd need another recast in, uh, okay. but it would give you uh, yeah a plus ten to this group stealth check, please. Let's do it. All right. Okay. Uh, Twenty-eight. Cast guidance on Freddy. Well, Freddy cast guidance on Elf. <laughs> on myself. Yeah, I mean it's very hard to fail the uh, check with Pass Without a Trace. Honestly, it's not like uh, you don't get the sense as you move through the Undercity that. Um, I mean, there are guards around, but they are posted with jobs to do. It seems as though they are making sure the workers stay in line and they're looking after the merchandise. They're more like uh, employees rather than a police service down here. Um, so it doesn't, you know, it, it, there's a chatter between the guards and the workers, and it's much less of a... Um, uh, uh, much less surveillance down here. That's what you get the impression of uh, as you kind of nip between, um, uh, you know, industrial building uh, and a yeah, group of workers. Um, the, the the productivity that uh, Gil and other people at the Estefax Ball mentioned, you can really see um, just how much... Uh, turnover is happening, how much trade is happening, and where the riches of Last Hollow are really made here below the surface. Uh, and it takes you, yeah, we're approaching five o'clock in the morning, I would say, by the time you finally manage to make it to uh, the matron's rest. You see this um, uh, squat, uh, tavern like. Uh, Tavern slash kind of like field hospital at the entrance to uh, a, a large industrial tunnel where you see uh, like cart tracks and other like abandoned wagons and other like industrial uh, equipment uh, all kind of scattered around. Uh, there are a few uh, like workers uh, camped like tents and uh, fires that are kind of uh, just going out at the very last dying embers around. Uh, but most people uh, presumably have occupied uh, places in the matron's rest. Uh, are you going in? Who's taking, yeah. who's, who's making a grand entrance? Who's kicking the door in? Mm -hmm. I feel like Tisha would be gay. Yeah. Yeah. Tisha's yeah. going in? Would be. Yeah. Okay. Uh, I get get Tisha to make a just straight charisma check. We'll see who notices her. Uh, Twenty four. Um, you walk in and Tisha chin up uh, uh, with Freddie on her arm, strides confidently into the matron's rest, uh, and you see um, lots of. Uh, yeah, uh, burly workers um, covered in like soot and rock and uh, other kind of uh, detritus uh, collapsed over a tankard or leaning in a corner. Um, and you see a, um, uh, a male halfling at the bar. Um, it's kind of got like greasy, like mullet uh, and a moustache that's like barely grown in uh, and um, as you guys walk in as Tisha walks in you see him like uh, collect a load of money off the bar and pocket it and then like kind of uh, bring together like a deck of cards uh, that seemingly he was playing 
maybe a, a game of solitaire or something like that. Um, late comers, eh? Morning. Good night. I don't know what time it is. No, uh, don't get much daylight down here, but it's early, real early. A lot of the lads should be waking up soon. And he like taps a, a, a wooden spoon on a pan. Come on, get out. You've got work to do, the lawyers. Uh, and a few like the, the workmen like wake up and like, mop their brow like, oh, oh dear, give it a rest, Rada. Bloody slave driver. Um, like, and a few uh, humans, halflings, uh, a odd gnome, a, a odd dwarf, all like start picking up their stuff, sling it over their shoulders, uh, and and push past you on the way out, uh, emptying a lot of the matron's rest. And what can I do you for? We can jump in. Nothing weird, but we can jump in where they've just left. We we just we're so. Tired. No, oh, you ain't sleeping in my bar. No. We've got rooms upstairs and you can pay for them like everybody else. Oh, yeah. Happy to. Uh, and you look up and it's like, it's not really an upstairs. You can see like, it's like a, almost like a mezzanine, like a, um, like three quarters of the way around the ceiling. You see, uh, not rooms per se, but like, uh, Almost like, um, almost like surgical bays that have got curtains uh, like drawn across each one. Um, probably able to sleep about twelve people. Uh, you see a couple of the surgical bays like got curtains pulled across. Um, uh, I'd like everybody to make a perception check. Okay. Um, yeah, you you get the impression that um, this is a it, it's a busy and popular place. Uh, but I, Tilly, you would notice first one of the uh, surgical bay uh, like curtains comes open, and you see um, uh, a a male um, kind of step out like a half elf uh, looks over. Um, the the uh, the kind of banister and gives you like a wry smile before he puts on like a fine silk shirt buttons it up and then uh kind of makes his way down okay um he, as he walks past you so like uh he's got like again like dark hair like tied up into a ponytail um would be quite attractive were it not for like uh a few like obvious scars maybe across his collarbone um and it, like up his neck um and uh hold on uh it looks down to the halfling uh and uh flips him a gold coin there's your cut, my dear. Thank you for the place to work, as usual. Uh, and he uh, does his top button up. Um, oh, never seen any of you around here before. Oh, that's good for it's you. It's the first right? time. Oh, well. Uh, a contract shipping in from elsewhere? Get a few workers from Glimmerstone passing through every now and again. Where are you from? All over. What about you? Oh, I'm from around. And he gives you like a wry smile. Uh, my name's Hill. And <laughs> would any of you be wanting any company this morning? I just got off a shift. Well, this is my husband, and I think the rest of us, I think we all just want to sleep. Oh, your husband, and he like, he like kind of uh, segues himself like in the middle of Tisha and Freddie, and he puts his arm around Freddie and like links arm with Tisha. It's like, I'm into that. <laughs> um, um, I'm fine. Thank you. Thank you for the offer, uh, 
sure I'll be fine. Look at you, you're scared stiff, and he like, uh, like, uh, pinches your chin. Well, I've got to say, there's not much pleasure to be had in the forge these days, and after a hard day of work, you may wish to unwind, in which case, I'll be here later. And he like pats Freddy on the arse um, and walks towards the exit. Get out of here, you like. miscreant. Um, Billy's looking at uh, like Tisha and Freddy, like you can tell in her face that she doesn't, she doesn't understand. Like Freddy is shell shocked <laughs> from that one. It's all right, Tilly. We'll tell you when you're older. Okay. That just really happened. Uh, I, just, I think it's good that you know the local button like rents a space for trade and like if they want to like you know mm. they don't have a place a shop maybe or uh you know then i'm sure he gets more confused I think <laughs> maybe we should rent out one of the alcoves for for the five of us oh you mean room to sleep yeah i'm not sleeping there yeah Okay. There should be enough bays this morning. Uh, be a gold piece each. No, I'm talking with gold. Done. Do we yeah. get like two rooms upstairs? Is that what we? No, you get your own little bay with a curtain. Is that there are no rooms? Or... No, it's just like uh, there's like a <laughs> like a hostel there, really. <laughs> yeah, like a hostel. Yeah, basically. All divided by material. It's oh, not really rooms. I didn't. I didn't like that movie. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, I'll try okay. and grab one where I can get sight of the entrance from where I'm at. Hopefully, yeah, you can get one. Like obviously, if you shut the curtain, you can't see the entrance. Mm -hmm. But what you could see just uh, down towards the entrance, if you like, uh, creep up to the balcony. Yeah, just so um, I know if I need to, I can check out the entrance. You are very anything. tall, so yeah. Actually, tall is like a disadvantage in this situation. Yeah, but, yeah. Um, yeah. You chuck him all a gold piece, and I assume you're embarking on a long rest. We are before Freddy. Does, <laughs> when we get the room, Freddy will walk around the room. That can make us a bit safer in here. It's so not a room. Sleep. Yeah, it's not. Or it's make... just loads of oh, curtains. Right, we'll walk around the space at, mm -hmm. there's a spell I can cast that might make it harder for them to track us uh, and he's going to touch each corner of the space and he's going to cast um, a private sanctum on the space we're in Ooh. okay do you want to just chuck it up it protects it's the I'm choosing the divination option so uh it's a cubic area, um, and it lasts for up to 24 hours. Um, and you decide on the type of security. Um, sound can't pass through the barrier. Uh, the barrier ward area appears dark and foggy, preventing vision, including dark vision through it. Sensors created by different... So is it only one of those you choose? I picked one. I'm going to be... Pick the sensors... Any or all. Any. Oh, any or all. So oh, sensors so created by divination spells can't appear inside the protected area or pass through the barrier at its perimeter. Creatures in this area can't be targeted by divination spells. Nothing can teleport in or out. And plane of travel inside is blocked. It's a pretty, pretty good spell, that, isn't it? That, that is a sick spell. Yeah. All Imagine. but the last two. All mm. but the last two. So basically, nobody can scry for us or look into this area. while. So you're not blocking, it. teleporting, or plane of travel in and out? What? No, I have. You said oh, all sorry, but the last two. First two, sorry, I meant. Oh, um... so sound can pass in and out, and the water area doesn't appear dark or foggy. Yeah, basically. But all the others okay. are happening. That's so cool. Scott can still listen for trouble. It doesn't obvious. It's not obvious that I've cast something, but it protects everybody within. Yeah, if you look upstairs mm -hmm. and there's just a bunch of fog up there, that's a bit. <laughs> that, yeah. that would be a bit weird, yeah. Chain you... smoking. <laughs> so does that cover all of our sleeping areas, or just you and Tisha? No, it's the area we're in. It's the entire area that we're in. 
Okay. Can be up to 100 feet on each side. Yeah, you could do it in every, across everybody's room. Assuming you're all your rooms are next to each other, it's really no, no problem. Good spell. It's a uh, freaking awesome wonder, spell. wonder who picked it. I don't know who. Um, anyway. <laughs> um, <laughs> can, can I also do something before we sleep? Yeah. Um, I would like to go to the um, rad, Radha bartender. After. Radha, yeah. Uh, oh, yeah, you could check in how he's spelling. Um, and um... R A R D E R. Mm. Arda, beautiful name. Arda. Got it right. Arda. <laughs> um, I, I'm this... going. To... Oh, I'm good going morning, to... rather. Good, good morning. I'm going to switch to halfling and say, uh, "Hi. Um, yeah. Um." I uh, just wanted to uh, really check uh, maybe if you could tell me this. Uh, anybody been around here today uh, or last night uh, asking um, weird questions? Do you have do you have like people coming in and looking for people that sort of thing? Mm, make a persuasion check. A narc check. This is gonna go well. Oh, not bad. Mm -hmm. I'm just well, looking. To... Go on. We get the occasional shakedown, people squirreling things away in the mines, you know, thieves. But we haven't had anybody around today. Oh, is I there can... something I should be aware of? No, I can I can assure you, and we're we're none of those things. It just we're people who really prefer and cherish our privacy. And I'll uh, take uh, ten gold mm -hmm. and slip it uh, on the bar towards him. Seems just... to me you don't cherish your privacy that much. And he just scoops the ten into his till, and then. Rattles his fingers on the bar. I'll, um, I've never done this before, <laughs> so I might be doing this wrong. But, Mr. Rada, if there's, um, if you help us keep our privacy, then there will be another 10 for you at the end of this rest. If anybody asks or anything, then, you know, never seen us. Like halfling to halfling, you know. Sure. Halfling to halfling. And he gives you a wink. Uh, that's it. That's uh I'm gonna I'm gonna get out before I make things much worse. <laughs> Good night. Night. <laughs> okay. Um, we're going to cut as you guys embark. Are you? Is anyone staying on watch, or are you all just conked out? What are you doing? I would stay on watch, but I think I'm going to say conked out because we got to like five a.m. with everything that went on. I think we're kind yeah, of probably yeah. Okay, we're all exhausted from an evening of escaping a ball and running around town and trying not to die. Oh, God, that's um, still the same day. Yeah. Uh, so we cut to Gil. Um, you approach uh, Jadena's personal quarters as Ashdain um, gets up after a few hours rest himself. Uh, and you can see Ashdain has got like his uh, thin spectacles perched on the end of his like long bulbous nose. Um, Good morning, Gilchrist. I see you have secured the first appointment of the day. Not like the last appointment of the night. Well, uh, the Duchess's work never stops. Uh, would you like a coffee? Uh, By the way, probably a good you one. look terrible. <laughs> <laughs> 
And he puts his spectacles up on but closer to his eyes. Oh, what happened to you, boy? Uh, let me see. Um, resisting arrest. Um, teleportation. Dirty great wall appearing. Oh. Yeah. You look like you've come down with something. Something I've not seen for a while. Oh, you've seen it before, have you? Mm. Looking very similar to young Master Lacheria. Some malady that's incurable. Hmm. I have theories. Hmm. Mostly to do with the dragon that used to run this place, but I shall have a word with my aunt and we'll see <laughs> what can be done. Well, there'll be no remnants of that dragon, I assure you. My old master. Sir Lacheria took care of him. Anyway. The worm can be killed, but uh, influence can carry on. Anyway. Pats you on the shoulder and walks past as uh, the door to Jadena's quarters opens just ajar. I'll slip inside. Snake leg. Well. Seems as though my prediction was nearly right. How old are you now, Gilchrist? Twenty-eight. Mm. Entering your prime. You knew this was going to happen then. She mage hands the door closed. Come with me. Uh, and she uh, takes you to this, uh, like, uh, nightstand, like, beauty desk kind of place where she's, she gets ready. And she looks over her shoulder and she pulls a candle, uh, a candelabra away from the wall. Uh, and you see a secret door open next to a bed. Been making modifications to the old place, I see. Well, I'll have you know that Gideon Lacheria had this built himself. Uh, ah. And he, uh, she walks down a spiral staircase. Nice to see the old boy had some sense before his uh, brain melted. <sighs> she descends down a, a long spiral staircase uh, before she gets to, uh, like, uh, a cellar, if you like. Um, the cellar, you can see, has got, like, yeah, fine barrels of wine, uh, stacked up a few chests of fineries organized and locked down. Uh, but most prominent in this private cellar is uh, a floor marking, like uh, some runic symbols that glow faintly uh, with a green uh, arcane energy. Is it a teleportation circle? You would think so. This uh, method of transport is known only to me. Where are we going? It leads to the bowels of Half-Blood Prison. I see. It's where I took young Master Lacheria. Ah, we have at least one of them, then. Well, I assumed you had his party under control when I took care of the young lord myself, and her eyes go green with arcane energy. Well, it would appear that they have a uh, base of operations to which the water girl has 
means of teleportation. Yes, they're much more powerful and dangerous than we perhaps anticipated. I don't blame you for failing to subdue them at your first attempt. But now you've crossed swords once. Should you get another chance, I expect nothing but a resounding success. Now that I have a greater idea of their capabilities. However, what you're lacking is a real idea of yours. What do you think's happening to you, Gilchrist? I honestly don't know. It's How do you in... feel? I feel more... Just more. More me, more... More vibrant, more alive. Like you've shed this cloud of... This... This choking mist and you're finally able to breathe through your real lungs. That's not a bad description. Yes. You are special, Gilchrist. And you have never been an elf. We have existed for thousands of years. Only very few of us, sticking to the shadows, manipulating things, while other races waged their wars across the isles, we held fast. Our dedication to the Night Serpent, enabling us to conjure the most brilliant dreams and the most beautiful nightmares for our enemies each night. Your time has come, Gilchrist. Jack of Lacherias, older than you, began to manifest clearly his potential. But I would not want to see our serpent lineage come between a potential alliance. It may have come as quite a shock to him and to you, but you are both more special than any other race that resides on the Isles. If he can be turned, then he could be a powerful ally. What do you think the best he strategy will join us might or be. We'll die. <laughs> I want you to attend Half Blood Prison and observe how my plan unfolds. Your attendance will be to see to the others the human, the tiefling, and the elder Montenay sister. Do Report them intact. Hmm. You could say that. Report to the nightmare speaker. They shall join us too. Uh, and she, intact then. She points to the teleportation circle as she activates it on your behalf. Now step into. While memorizing the sequence for the circle. Okay, let's see uh, ah. how how well you are able to uh, discern the runes, or without making notes, and at only the first time of asking. Uh, you can make whatever kind of check you want to make. You justify it to me. How would you, how would Gil do this? Um, I would say Gil is used to memorizing. Having written most of the scurrilous and slanderous pieces 
performed by the bards around town to embed the incompetence and uselessness of the Luceria family into public record and public memory, I would say he would treat the runic sequence like a set of lyrics, like learning a piece of music. It's just slightly different notation. Okay, so you're going to make what kind of check? I would go with performance. Okay. <laughs> Only plus uh, 27. I'm going to uh, make him... Well, 20. Um, that's good enough. Um, you memorize the sequence back into uh, Jadena's private bedchamber, uh, and you appear in a... Uh, a maybe kind of 30 by 30 foot room with stone pillars all around in the same ominous green glow of a teleportation circle as you hear in just behind you welcome gilchrist and that's where we'll break great cool awesome <laughs> See um, you soon. In, in, the, oh. in the break Oh, are we taking a long rest? Can I do like picking new spells or is that not? Sure. Grab in the break, you can deal with your long rest, whatever new spells you need to do, attunement. That's all good. Thank you. Thanks. All right. Bye. Bye. Bye.
Come gather near and bend your ear for a tale our tongues to wag. For she who'd let us towards the light, the ballad of the white stag. The chairwoman sat at her desk one day while the rain came down so hard. She met five white stags who brought the sunshine back and she made them all town guards. She was crossed by a gnome who armed some bombs that would make the dogs into a pond. But the stags were too wise for the tiny gnome and they sent him back to God. So come gather near and bend your ear for a tale our tongues to wag. For the herd we not had stayed the night, the ballad of the white stag. Hall, and she took the stags to the city wall. With a lightning strike and a nasty fall, the chairwoman saved us all. When the nightfall came and the chanting stopped, and I nearly spilled my drink. For in the dark, with mistress' aid, she turned the walls to pink. So come gather near and bend your ear, for a tale our tongues to wag. Thought heard we not had stayed the fight, the battle of the white stag. The chairwoman wields her family sword And her brother wears a mask For the forger's guilds and traitors too <laughs> There's not too much to ask So come gather near and bend your ear For a tale our tongues to wag You better tip your glass Cause she saved our ass The battle of the white stag So come gather near and bend your ear For a tale Cause she saved our ass The battle of the white stag Hey ho Welcome back. Um, we are picking up um, the uh, main party are just having a long rest, hopefully deciding on their uh, spells, equipment, etc. And Gil has just travelled to Half-Blood Prison with the instructions from Judena Savori to uh, report to the Nightmare Speaker and uh, 
deal with the prisoners, uh, Shams Ulfuk, Nayeen Montanay, uh, and uh, Libby, Liberation. Um, and I guess uh, we will cut back. I guess, Gil, uh, uh, do you require a long rest, or did you manage to have six hours worth of sleep? Mm, I doubt it. I uh, no, I burned through a few spells and so yeah. on during the combat. So, so I, I would get a briefing, a brief rundown, and then yes, um, these uh, the attendant who I'm not going to describe too much yet um, uh, tells you. Uh, where you can recuperate and then what to do with the prisoners um, upon waking as you'll be taking over uh, from somebody else. Um, but yeah, uh, we'll, we'll leave that uh, mysteriously uh, hanging in the air for now while uh, the others wake up... Um, uh, you would, I think, if you've all just zonked out and you're not taking a watch, it would take you till like maybe just before midday um, to rise. Um, let me just make a roll. Tisha, as an elf, only has to rest four hours, right? Mm -hmm. If she, yes. she would have elf. zonked and then just kind of sat quietly and like watched and listened as things had gone on downstairs. Okay. Um, you, Tisha, um, would see a contingent of uh, under city guards come in and uh, exchange a few words um, with Rada. Um, would Tisha be trying to listen in or watch carefully or what would she uh, do? Yeah. She'd be keen to listen, I think. Mm -hmm. You make a perception check as Tisha. Mm, with a 25, um, you see uh, Rada is uh, questioned. Um, there seem to be descriptions exchanged um, and uh, Rada looks not to be uh, given too much away um, with that perception check. Um, it, these are people who he doesn't seem to know very well. Uh, mm -hmm. And after about 15 minutes or so, uh, and a, a very, very brief drink, uh, they leave. Um, so, yeah, it, nothing really of note. I rolled a natural one on their investigation check, so uh, <laughs> everything's fine. <laughs> um, so yeah, the I guess Tisha could continue with their preparations for the day as everybody else uh, emerges. These are uh, quite uh, rough digs, uh, and. Uh, some of you will have struggled to find a completely untarnished and dry blanket to cover yourselves with uh, all kinds of, uh, you know, dirt and uh, stains. It's really not a, a great night's sleep. Even for a gold piece seems uh, particularly overpriced, even just the one. Um, but yeah, um, Rada comes upstairs and draws back some curtains. Um, are you guys hanging around here all day? The morning shift will be finishing soon, and these beds are needed. Sorry, sorry, we're awake. Sure. We're awake, we're really sorry. Everybody, everybody, we're awake, right? Yeah, yeah. Freddy! Yeah, we're, <laughs> we, we're, we're okay. We, we, can, we can leave. Do you serve a breakfast? Hmm, we did. Stopped at 10.30. Oh, no. Is that a lunch, lunch menu? 
I can rustle you up some food. Tell me, uh, as he uh, beckons you all downstairs. Uh, why, what have you done topside to spook the brass? Whatever do you mean? I mean, the city guard were in here a couple of hours ago asking questions. Uh, uh, and I didn't give him any answers, but I want to know, what's your game? Uh, I have to take some responsibility. We come here by ship and I have a particularly rambunctious crew. You know how it can be. Some of them caused a little trouble in the inn's top side. It's, to be honest with you, why we came down here, being that we were responsible for them, we thought perhaps the heat would die down. Be easier to explain away the next day. You're lying low because of a few bar fights. Yeah. Make a deception check, Smoke. Because I'm so good at these. I get no guidance on that. Oh. He's rolled, I'm afraid. Um, 14. He, like, gives you, like, a wry nod as if he doesn't believe you at all, uh, before going back into the kitchen and fetching you some lunch. Lunch is extra. Extra for wanted people as well. Um, so, um, he brings out uh, some boiled eggs and hazelnut bread. Um, and a tankard, of, a tankard of perry. Um... <laughs> I don't know what that is. Anyone? Pear cider. Oh, okay. Yeah. Pear cider. There you go. Boiled eggs, hazelnut bread, and pear cider. Um, it would normally be 10 copper pieces, but he's charging you a silver piece each. I, I, uh, I've got it. Don't worry. Uh, um, and, um, I'll, um, I'll pay for everybody and then slip him the extra 10 gold. And... Mm -hmm. As I do, I just say in halfling, thank you for not saying anything about us. What kind of racket is it? Are you, are you smuggling? What? Look, um, I don't want to, you know, put you in any situation uh, just by telling you this. Um, what I can tell you is we think some of our friends might have been imprisoned. <laughs> well, that's the last you've ever seen of them. Nobody comes out of half blood prison. How, uh, I, I switched to common. Half blood prison, did you say? Where is that? Oh, it's not far away at all. It's towards the back of the cave. Um, people don't really ever come out of there. We've had workers. You know, strong lads, particularly uh, diligent workers, people who have got a real good reputation, just disappear overnight. Taken to the prison, arrested for some spurious reasons. They weren't smugglers, they weren't on the take, they weren't stealing. Don't you have, like, a justice system here? Like a judge and <laughs> co courts? Justice is whatever they say it is topside. Hmm. I look at the others. So if they weren't criminals, good workers, what do you make of it? Why were they taken away? Something political? Well, we... We do have a union, the hollow union, and you know they've you know, workers' rights are a point of contention here. There's shifts being pulled twenty four hours a day. I mean the camp's right on the other side of the undercity, but if they were if it was political, then you'd expect the union heads to be disappeared. But it's really more the you know the the, the big strong ones or the particularly ingenuitive ones. It's as if they want to slow progress or something. I, I don't know. Keep the population Ill weak and 
dumb. I mean, maybe, but we still we still produce gold for them and other resources, like hand over fist. I mean, to be honest, that's why the guards don't really have to throw their weight around too much down here. It's, you don't want to get disappeared. Everyone just falls in, does the work, clocks out. What do you produce here? Oh, the, the, there's an emerald mine, uh, which is what most people uh, most people mine here. There's other kinds of precious stones, other rocks, uh, <coughs> uh, slate, granite. Um, it's hard work. This whole mountain is, uh, or this, uh, yeah, this whole mountain is positively flush with riches. We'll be mining this place for years and years. Strange, you'd think the noble's topside would want that sort of thing dug out as soon as, as soon as humanly possible. There. You'd think so. And they definitely do take their fair share, more than their fair share, topside. But I can't help but think there's other plans. Something they don't tell us. I couldn't say any more. How, how deep do the mines go? Oh, you could get lost down there for days. Rumours that there used to be Dwergar down there. Until the Emerald Dragon burnt them all. People used to serve him, dig deeper and deeper until they could dig no more, bring emeralds the size of ostrich eggs down from below. And then the There's a lot of riches was... in these caves. And the dragon down there was, was slain many years ago, was it not? Uh, a generation ago. It's more before my time. The old king, was it the old ruler that slayed the dragon? Aye. Gideon Lecheria. A pirate. It's a legendary story, we've all heard it. Him and his contingent came from the east and faced down the great emerald worm. And this is why the undersea exists. This is where the worm lived beneath the surface, uh, beneath the surface, coveting the emeralds and all of its riches, directing people with his psychic tendrils reaching out from behind the waterfall. It's a perfect hiding spot, if you ask me. And so, uh, what happened to him? Well, he was slain. Some say that Gideon Lecheria faced him down one on one and pulled out his heart. It's Can you imagine such a feat? It, exactly. Apparently, the heart is a the heart of the Emerald Dragon gave him unnaturally long life. He didn't age a day. But he's not in charge anymore, is he? No. He went mad and disappeared. Maybe the whispers of the Emerald Dragon still taunted him in the back of his mind. That's the rumour, anyway. A dragon is never truly dead, you know. And he winks as he gives you some boiled eggs. <laughs> <laughs> now you've spoiled my ears with many tales. And thank you for the board. I'm, I'm going to give him ten gold for his trouble. <clears throat> oh, wow. Well, whenever you do all decide that to let me in on whatever racket you're running, I'll be more than happy to help out. You're not actually thinking of getting into Half-Blood Prison, right? Our friends are there. <laughs> they did nothing wrong. No, like, like other people we've known. I oh, mean, no one ever, ever 
escaped, not a single person you know of. No. The trying to break in through the front door would be folly. There's there's a special contingent of topside guard who come down here and keep watch over the entrance to Half Blood Prison twenty four hours a day. But there might be another way. Oh. It's not a way that I'd ever risk anyway. The prison sat on top of, uh, or next to an industrial processing plant. A lot of the slag and chemical runoff from the ore processors down here uh, are pumped directly into the sewer uh, just below the prison. If you were so somehow able to navigate that nasty stuff, you could potentially find your way inside. I mean, I don't know what condition you'd be in. That Those chemicals are deadly. But if you ask me, it'd be easier than facing down a load of guards. In, in what way are they deadly? Are they poison or corrosive? Or both? My best guess would be both. <laughs> oh, and, and the entrance to that lovely, beautiful place of nature? Yeah, only uh, just before the wall uh, by the watchtower. Uh, there's some vaults on the other side of the wall. Uh, some of the pipes go just underneath there. And he points out the direction. It's only maybe 20 minutes up the road. So we would need to figure out a way over the wall first? No, it's like the, the pipes are a passageway through the wall and oh, then okay. underground. Gotcha. So like somewhere around here-ish. Yeah, exactly. <clears throat> You don't have a lot of love for the up top side, do you? Well, not many people do down here, to be honest. I mean, it's not exactly like, you know, we're not slaves. People come and go. They make a lot of money. Just the conditions aren't great, and the, the work's hard. But, you know, a lot of the workers who come and go from the forest, they're grateful of a day's work. You know, if you were to go to the other side of this island, you know, there's really not m many places to prosper. And I think this is one of them, especially in the past six or seven years. But I'm no well, union member. They've got their own demands. I just run the inn. The new rulers have been good for last holiday? Definitely more productive than the previous rulers. Like I said, lots of agendas that we're not privy to, and lots of hard work. But I don't think most people would go back. Taking people off the streets or from their homes in the middle of the night, disappearing them in a jail that nobody ever escaped from, that... Sounds like something people would be worried about, no? It it has happened, but it's rare. Most people doesn't doesn't enter their minds day to day. Okay. And sure, we we've never seen anyone leave, but maybe they've gone topside. Maybe they get released. Maybe they get a new life at the top of the waterfall. Maybe they get killed and their bodies dumped in the output of that chemical plant. Oh, that is a grim thought. Anyway, oh. we you heard none of this from me. Um, one last thing from me, uh, if I could ask. H how much... Uh, how much for taking care of my dog for a few days? 
he's very good and he'll uh, he'll guard your premises I might come back tomorrow I might come back in a few days but I'll I'll pay you 5 gold a day <laughs> That sounds like a lot Yeah well you try looking after an inn while you've got a dog running around the place more than a distraction I'm I'm telling you he's very helpful let me just show you and uh I uh issue some commands to Humphrey to to show off how he's uh, a very how good dog. Uh, yeah. Make an animal handling check. Oh, well, he looks like he'd be no trouble. <laughs> One gold a day. <laughs> I, 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 slip in fi- I slip in five gold. I, I, I might come back tomorrow, but this is for you to keep anyway. Come on, boy. We'll put you to work as well. And he uh, ruffles his ears. Uh, and uh, Humphrey, like it, it, he goes towards where he can smell the eggs, but then he like turns back and, like, he seems torn between you and Go on, uh, Radha. It's okay. Uh, you can stay here. I'll come back. Don't worry. I'll come back for you. It's just you'll be safer here from where we go in. And he wanders off into the kitchen. Tail. Don't eat. Don't eat anything. I wouldn't. <laughs> <laughs> And I just say to the others, uh, mushrooms. What is that? What wouldn't you eat? Oh, any any animal product, of course, because uh, you know, I'm a vegan. But um, I just want to. I just worried a little bit about uh, Nibbles as well. I, he's hiding under my bed in the castle, but I think he should be all right. Hope they don't find him. Oh, we'll get to him when we can. So what? Um, going in that prison? What else are we here for? Hmm. He's. They're gotta be there, right? There's no. There's no chance they're anywhere else. It's our best bet. <sighs> right. If that's what's happening, I'll just give me a second. <laughs> What do you think? Uh, I, I can't. I can't put my put my paw on it. Why these these workers are disappearing, getting locked away in the prison? It doesn't seem right. Like Rather said, they make good money. They work the mines. Maybe the strongest. I mean, the strongest are a threat physically. And the smart and the innovators are a threat intellectually. If the workers are kept weaker and uh, dumber, then they're less likely to start to question things and try to get things changed. Mm. Makes sense. That that, that makes sense. Can't help but wonder if there's something down in those mines they, uh, they don't want them to find. That too. Uh, yeah, and and didn't I'm not sure if he was joking, but the uh, rather mentioned uh, there's some unions here. Maybe maybe they're uh, a problem for the for the ruling uh, but, class. But didn't he say that it wasn't the union leaders that were that were getting locked up and disappearing? Only True. only some of the workers. Mm. Yeah. Strange, strange. Oh, well, the union leaders, for all you know, could be complicit with them. We don't know, but it's not right. If, there's, if people are disappearing and nobody escapes that prison, we need to figure out a way in. That's right. There'll well, be time to ponder afterwards. We've got, we've got a way in. We just have to figure out uh, how to best protect ourselves from... Like the chemicals he mentioned. Amir, Tisha, Freddy, do you have anything that we could we could use magically? (sighs) 
Let me check my spells for today. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. You just check your spells. <laughs> I'm just gonna have a big think. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever we can do, uh, and then and then we just go and see what happens. Um, we c I could turn us into the animals again. Uh, if oh, I potentially, maybe. if I potentially pick something that might. Um, I guess we have no idea what it is. If we're going to swim through the chemicals or whether this is sort of flowing and then there will be a space to fly above it, who knows? I could go about, uh, flying or... What about your... um that stone... that stone shape thing that Tisha says you do sometimes? That stone wall? Could stone you make wall. one of those for us to walk across? <laughs> I, it's not, it's not, um, might not fit in the pipe. We don't uh, really know the size of these pipes. I have maybe teleportation magic, but I can only take, I have to either go to somewhere I've been before or. Yeah, but I think, so, so he said the problem is, first of all, first of all, the wall is the problem. And then getting to the actual jail is another problem. And the pipes circumvent both. He said we might we might find an entrance underneath the prison through those pipes, I guess. Yeah. Turn us all into crocodiles. Crocodiles and sewers seem like a match or some for some reason. Or turtles. Yeah. Hmm. No, that will be too slow. When you turn us into something, really, does that is that that for the day? Is that the only thing that no. we can become? No. Re remember when we did? Um, remember when we did this? When we went to the castle, we we turned into yeah. ravens, then we turned into like ants. Me and Smoke. Oh, and... Yeah. You guys are ants. Yeah. That's true. So as you're planning and strategizing, there seems to have been a shift change and lots of workers start coming in to the bar. Yeah, could this be a walk and talk if we were on the way? Are you so heading towards the, to the direction? Yeah. Yeah. yeah, okay, sure. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. What we could do is, uh, once we see it, once we get inside, we scope it out, and then I, then we make a decision on what, if anything, will turn into. Yes, that's the key. Yes. Mm -hmm. So you're going to scope out the sewers. <laughs> uh, we'll try. Okay. Um, you you uh, you follow the <coughs> directions given to you loosely by Rada. Um, and yeah, eventually you you see this like uh, probably like sixty foot wall, this massive uh, industrial wall that's that's like hundred feet um, across, uh, and on the left hand side it culminates in a huge watchtower, a big stone watchtower, and you can see there's like a heavy ballista on top uh, and a large contingent of guards. You are you know. Uh, maybe like eighty feet, uh, maybe to maybe to a hundred feet, like away from them. So maybe it's a bit longer than that, um, and much much further down. Uh, but yeah, as you get closer to the prison, uh, the number of uh, guards seem to uh, increase, um, even at this kind of lowly juncture. Uh, so I'd like you all to make a stealth check. Uh oh. The cast guidance on myself as me. Oh. Okay. <laughs> Woof. You um you come to like an in this industrial runoff like it's a multi level. Um, uh, kind of uh, work stone uh, runway 
uh, and these two huge metal pipes come out of the ground just below you, below like a 20 foot flight of stairs. Uh, these pipes are um, like 90 feet out and 30 feet wide, each of them. Uh, so they're huge. Uh, but what what would be most striking is the putrid, viscous chemicals coming out. Um, and the, the smell is bad. It smells like, um, it's like a mix of like industrial and medical like waste. Um, it, it looks vile uh, and it's green. Um, however, um, as you, uh, lean, uh, over the bars, uh, you hear a whistle. Uh, and a contingent of guard spot you straight away. Uh, so what we're going to do... Um, uh, Gil, um, Emerith Estefax is on patrol in the Undercity, and you can pilot her for this combat encounter if you wish. Okie dokie. Um, Emerith. Was so that some me. lucky running into her? <laughs> Just on the street? Yeah. <laughs> Uh, but that's where they figure you've gone. Bear with me one second. Time to... Um, I'm not sure what spell slot she's used. Um, no, I'm showing her full full whack on her. She can have a long rest in... Uh, yeah, everybody else has, so... Um, I'll just take you to the sewer map. Hopefully it's as I described for you. Oh... I oh, I love that. Oh. From that. So, from yeah, that. you can see the Dragon's Bane Guard with Emerith Estefax uh, at the top. You guys are coming at the right. You can see the pipes. Uh, however, you've been spotted. So, what we're going to do is roll initiative. <laughs> uh oh. Okay, well. Can you give me control of Tisha, please? I can. Hold on one second. And me control of Freddy. Yes. Uh, controlled by... So you should have control of Tisha and... Uh... Hmm. Ah, okay. Uh, you should be able to control that now, Gareth? Yes, I can. Uh, could you make sure your HP and all that jazz is as it should be? <coughs> and uh, is everybody rolled initiative? I just need to re-roll now. I've got the token, mm -hmm. and then I can add it myself. There we go. Okay. Uh, descending. All right, then. Here we go. Uh, Tisha, you, you hear the whistle, and you spot the guard, and you see... Uh, your cousin, Emerith Estefax, uh, pointing a contingent of Dragon's Bane Guard towards you. What do you do? Oh, you... I can't hear I you. Assume... Oh, I can hear you now. I don't know what happened there. I lost sound for like a minute. Um, okay. So, I, I assume you're talking to me as Tisha, right? Yes, Tisha's top of the order. She sees uh, Emerith, her cousin, coming towards her with a contingent of Dragon's Bane Guard. Okay. Oh, did um... I roll for the Dragon's Bane Guard? I don't think I did. Hold on. <laughs> um... ah. Sorry. Oh, 
Oh, they've got a 19. Smoke's got the higher decks. Oh, Smoke, sorry. I've got you on the on the order twice. Uh, are you, did you roll 19 or 17? 17. Ah, okay. I can, I can only see myself once. <laughs> it's all right. I, I, somehow some stuff lingers from previous yeah. turn orders sometimes. Uh, so, yeah, okay. Um, Tisha, what are you doing? <laughs> okay. Um, Tisha is gonna um, cast Firebolt. And she's going to mm -hmm. use some sorcery points to cast it twinned at nice. uh, Emerith and um, this guard here. Okay. That's 25 to hit. Yeah, hits both, I assume. Um, For 16 cool. fire damage. Um, yes, and then... Um, she's going to, that triggers her, like, shard item. Mm -hmm. So, um, I then get to choose one creature who takes damage, and that target has disadvantage on attack rolls and ability checks made before the start of my next turn. So that's going to be Emerith. Okay. Uh, Greg, do you know how to take Emerith's HP down on the token? Um, yeah. So yeah, Emerith now has disadvantage on attack rolls and ability checks until the start of Tisha's next turn. Yeah, cool. Uh, is she moving? Um, where is she? Like at the back? Yeah, Everyone she's against think? the railing. It's like a 20-foot drop down over the railing. Uh, um, I think she'll stay put for now okay. um, and then I don't know whether she's got many bonus actions uh, uh, no it's fine we'll leave it at that okay so the guards are going to run up one two three four five oh. Uh, they've got heavy crossbows, and uh, the nearest person is Smoke. Uh, a 19, Smoke, does that hit you? No. It's a miss. Okay. Uh, it's going to use his leadership feature to add a d4 to his roll. Uh, so does a 21 hit? Does not. Never mind. I think I needed a 4 there. Uh, okay. Then he'll take a second shot. And it's going to miss. One, two, three, four, five, six. Uh, Freddy this time. Going to get a heavy crossbow. Uh, 14, Freddy. Yeah, that'll hurt. <laughs> oh, I'll, take... no, I'll cast shield on that. Okay, so what's yeah. your AC now? Uh, 17. Plus 5. Nice. Yeah. Uh, I'll get one more shot, which happens to be an 18. Oh. What is with this piercing damage? Hold on. Uh, you take one piercing damage. Brilliant. Um... So, one, two, three, four, five, six. Um, we'll do another speculative volley at uh, Smoke. Uh, both are going to miss. One, two, three, four, six. Um, he's going to use a dash action. One, two, three, four, five, six. Uh, okay. Uh, smoke. Um, I think I'm going to run up to the sort of uh, block the stairway-ish. Mm -hmm. I'll get towards there in a way. Okay. Uh, and we'll do some shots on this guy. So I'll use my bonus action to light the flame tongue. Uh, mm -hmm. And I'll go for this guy. <clears throat> 18. Just hits. Nice. Got 11 slashing 7 fire. 
Uh, uh, okay. And same again. I believe that's a miss. Third attack, 14. Misses. Couple of misses. I've used my bonus action. I will... Uh, oh, do I want to... Uh, yeah, I'm kind of blocking the way, actually, if I'm here. Well, kind of. Yeah, mm -hmm. that'll do. That's, that's fine. Okay. Uh, Mia. Uh, yeah. Um, Mia will... Can I get, like, this thing to the... Is this a walkway? So I'm trapped, basically. Or, like, I can run through... My oh, no, that's, that's just a, a curb to the right of you, but a, a banister to the left of you. So you can yeah. run through your friends as a as oh, without penalty. Yeah, okay, I'll do that. One, two, three, four, five. Um and then I'm gonna <clears throat> cast uh toll the dead on this guy here. Okay. Has he taken damage yet? He has. Can take twenty. <laughs> the so doesn't make damage. Wizzy save. Hope he makes wisdom save. Okay. Oh man, I rolled an eighteen. God damn it. <laughs> Sorry, twenty-eight necrotic damage. That was a good roll. Okay, he's looking fucked. Um, cool. Then, as a bonus action, she'll um cast spiritual weapon over him just at second level as well and go to bop him on the head um, okay. One for 14 force damage if a 23 hits it does and it straight up murders this guy <laughs> cool nice go uh, mir also pacifist buddy go mir <laughs> <laughs> okay having uh followed up your uh, Toll the Dead spell, the resounding <coughs> um, necrotic damage uh, is uh, stamped out by the immediate impact of your following up spiritual weapon as you crush the skull of this dragon's main guard between his two companions. They both look back horrified. Um, is that the end of your turn? Yes, thanks. Freddy. Um... Okay, uh, so because I haven't done it yet, Freddy is going to use this turn to cast Mage Armor on himself. <laughs> Classic. Okay, so your AC is now... 14 instead of 12. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Uh, that was my action. Bonus action, I don't think I've got... Uh, no, no, no bonus action. That's my turn. Okay. Uh, Tilly. Yeah. Oh, is, um, that, are you, is you fifteen or twelve? I was fifteen. Yeah. And Emerith, is she twelve or nine? Uh, we see her as nine. Ah, oh, okay. Weird. Sorry, Tilly. After you. No worries. Uh, this. Drop uh, down. How how far down is it? Twenty feet. Twenty feet. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm going to try and climb over the edge and then lower myself on the barrels. Uh, okay. Uh, without a climb speed, we that'll be an athletics check. Okay, that'll be interesting. Twelve. Uh, I'm going to say that uh, it's a bump uh, down onto the barrel, and you land on your butt, uh, oh, and you take two fine. points of bludgeoning damage. That's a, that's a bony butt. Mm -hmm. um... So you'd now be uh, here. That's great, because that's kind of what I wanted. Uh, I would like to use my action for hide. Hide action? You're getting in the barrel? 
No, I guess behind it. I mean, I'm lying down and I'm small, so I think... And Are everybody's going, on this, this you're side. going prone behind the barrel. Yeah, so like... In, okay. Yeah, like okay. here. It uh, sorry, I assumed I was prone when you said landed on my butt, but... Uh... Well, you're prone on top of the barrel, but if you're hiding behind, I oh, guess oh, you're okay. rolling off and hiding. Okay, it's not great. Uh, I'm I'm just kind of it, scouring the right, looking. It's, it's, it says twenty two. Oh, I I only have stealth when I'm in total darkness, which I uh, assume okay. this is not. So yeah, a twelve. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Unless down there it is. I don't know. I don't, I don't know it's how not. your world works. <laughs> yeah, you the... do. You've been playing in it two and a half years. <laughs> <laughs> That's the end of my go then. <laughs> uh, okay, now Emerith. Uh, with her contingent of guards running into a bit of trouble, uh, what's her play? Her play, if I can make the athletics rolls to pull it off, onto the pipes. Nice. It'd only be five foot over the wall onto a pipe because they're pretty big. Say again. It just be. A, it wouldn't be a very high athletics check to jump over a wall. In fact. Uh, uh, she's running uh, along the pipes. The important leap is actually from here to here. Whoa. Nice. Okay. Aim in for the balustrade. She's going full Errol Flynn on this one. <laughs> All righty. Uh, well, yeah, make uh, an athletics check. See if you can pull it off. At disadvantage. Oh, yeah. Because of the uh, uh, shard. shard. Tisha's shard. Mm-hmm. You got sharded. Twelve. Twelve. Uh, you get along the pipe. One, two, three, four, five. Uh, but yeah, you don't quite make the jump. Uh, and that's going to be... Uh, 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 five points of bludgeoning damage. The heavy armor that you're wearing, just too much to make that jump. Uh, you've got, um, what, maybe five feet of movement left? Um, yeah. Then... Uh, uh, hug the wall. Dash action. Okay. How how tall is the wall? Uh, it's 20 feet up from where you are. Oh, Christ. Uh, it, here it's at 10 feet, and here it's at five feet, just because it's a stairway going down. Got you. She's basically trying to get to Mia with a dash action. Okay. So you've got another... So she'd go one, two... She can jump over there to get to there. Three, four, five. And if she... She could try and jump over the wall behind Smoke to get between Smoke and Mia if she makes a successful athletics check. Yeah, the idea was to try and get there. Well, I think that... Going over the wall there. Going over, okay, it'd be a slightly higher DC from there. Uh, let's see if you make it. There's a bigger jump. Is it still uh, at this? It's not disadvantage yeah. now, I don't think. Or is it? No, it is. I think it's, so. It is. It's oh. disadvantage until it's, yeah. Oh, yeah. It's a teacher's yeah. turn, yeah. Okay, so you don't clear it, and you fall down the stairs, uh, and you take uh, four more points of bludgeoning damage. <laughs> clunk, 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 clunk. Whoops. What's, um, your pa what's your passive perception there? I wonder if he... Oh, it's only 11. Oh, she can't even see me. All right, good, good. <laughs> yeah. Uh, okay, is, any bonus actions, or is that the end of your turn for Emerith? Um, bonus action would be... Sulk? Not got anything that she could use as a bonus action. Oh yeah, Sulk. <laughs> okay. You don't know what she's trying to do. <laughs> Tisha. 
Yeah. Um, so can I see? I can see the entrance of these pipes, right? Uh, just about, yeah. And there's like, like that liquid is like oozing out of it. Yeah. Okay. Um, Tisha wants to do a little test, um, and she's gonna cast Vortex Warp on one of the guards. So Holy say shit. this guy here. And she oh. wants to transport him so oh, he like God. lands. In oh, that's the, so fucking the sludge. Okay. Uh, oh, so they've got to make a con save. save, okay. <laughs> That's yeah. an insane spell. For second level, that's really good. It's crazy. Uh, they fail the con save. Ah! Okay, so they end up in the, you... the sludge. Which which square highlight to me, if you would? Uh, kind of just like here, like in the mouth of it. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Jesus, that's cruel. So, <laughs> uh, Tisha, um, <laughs> Tisha draws a circle, uh, an arcane circle, and then like reaches through it. Her hand disappears and grabs the guard. And as she pulls her hand back through the circle, the guard is pulled out of space. And then Tisha uh, dissipates the circle and points towards uh, this location where... Uh, the Dragon's Bane Guard appears. Is it at ground level or above ground level that you're dropping them? Or does it have to be... Surface. Uh, it must be on a surface or yeah. in a liquid that can support the target without time. So, yeah, be on the ground. Yeah. Uh, so what you would see then um, is... Fucking awesome. Um, the non-magical armor that the Dragon's Bane Guard is, is wearing... Uh, begins to like smolder, and he he like wades around in the uh, uh, on the spot in this kind of like toxic sludge, uh, and lets out a scream. Ah! Um, he, he's quite a robust and hardy person, uh, but he doesn't look like he will continue to be one if he stays there very long. It's acid. Okay. <laughs> cool. Um... And then, uh, yeah, as like a bit of flair, she'll use her bonus action to um, use her tempestuous magic to float up into the air 10 feet. Awesome. Jesus, these guys have no fucking idea. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, uh, it's now the Dragon's Bane Guard turn. Um, one of them um, blows on their whistle and looks back towards the watchtower uh, before making a run towards smoke. One, two, three, four, five, six, and attempts to flank smoke uh, with some greatsword attacks. Mm -mm. Oh, the first one's going to be a crit smoke, I'm afraid, for a 25. Yeah. Oh, I'll undo it. Oh. Using your reaction? Mm-hmm. Uh, okay, so it's just 11 slashing damage okay. uh, rather than 18. Uh, they'll get another attack. I, I didn't declare that I've uh, done my transformation. So no, you haven't. Full. The other attack misses. Uh, the original one is also going to get a flanking bonus. Um, and a 24 and a 20. One of them will hit, won't it? Uh, the 24 hits, yeah. Yeah, 11 slashing damage. We'll use my reaction on that one. For what? I'm going to cast Silvery Barbs on the on the guy as a reaction. He must re-roll the d20 of the attack and use the okay. lower roll. I will roll it. Uh... Oh, and I rolled another crit, so the lower roll still hits. Okay, but Smoke, you have advantage on your next attack. Ooh. Okay, yes. so it's 22 slashing damage in total for yeah. that those uh, couple of hits. Um, right, this guard is going to uh, make a little saving throw because he's starting his turn in the goop. Um... 
which he crit fails. Uh, so he uh, clambers out of the sludge, uh, and he does not look well. Um, his passive perception is only 10, um, but he uh, kind of runs up to uh, assist uh, Emerith. Uh, he is going to take the uh, help action, which will basically be, he's like, uh, draws his sword and kind of falls in next to Emerith. Um, the next ranged uh, attack uh, or melee attack, next attack on uh, Emerith will be at disadvantage. Um, so we will now switch to smoke. Yep, yeah, I'll uh, attack the first guy I was fighting, so the guy on the right. Yep. Yeah. Uh... You get advantage because of that silver uh, I do, yeah, it'll be a 27. Yeah, I'll hit. Uh, six slashing 13 fire. Okay. He's not looking so good. Uh, so we'll try again for 25. So 11 yeah. slashing 15 fire. And that's enough to destroy him. Nice. Um, with the remaining attack, I'd like to try and grapple the, uh, the other one. Okay. That's a contested check. Uh, yeah. I've got a 20. I got a crit. That's my third crit. Oh. 23. Okay, yeah, he can... Um... Oh, but I can... Uh, bonus action shove with my shield master trait. Okay. So I'll give that another shot. Uh, oh, sorry, that's the wrong one. Acrobatics would be athletics. Is it another athletics or acrobatics? It's the same as, as a grapple, yeah, yeah, but it's just for a push. Okay, I only rolled 18 this time. Nice, so I'll just uh, do it at an angle and try and make him tumble down the stairs. Uh, how far can you push him I can push him normally? five feet, so... Yeah, I'll just make him make him a, a dexterity saving throw yeah, to see if yeah. he falls down the stairs. Nice. Oh, and uh, crit failed, nice. so... Uh, dish, dish, dish. and he will take five points of bludgeoning damage. Alrighty. End of your turn? Or are you moving? Uh, I am going to move. I'm going to start mm -hmm. bounding down the stairs a little bit. I'll just get I've still a bit of space away from Emerith, but I'm going to say to her, um, um, I, I saw the look on your face when we fought you earlier. Gilcrest and Jadena, they keep things from you, don't they? I'm trying to... Okay. Um, Mia, you hear Smoke call out to Emerith as he descends down the stairs, the rest of her Dragon's Bane guard uh, falling into line next to her. Yeah. Um, which goes nicely with what I was also going to do, which was is look over and say Peekaboo Emerith <laughs> Hey uh, Emerith I know that you didn't know about the high instructor call your men off and we can talk to you properly Okay um, Is that the end of is that what you're using your action to do trying to like persuade him yeah, I, I can't make a check because it's against a human player, so... Um, but yeah, I'm sure the message is loud and clear. Uh, Freddy! Yeah. Okay. Oh, I'm sorry, did you want something else to do? Well, uh, no, I guess, no. That's... I just didn't, I didn't realise it wouldn't be a check, but it's okay. Well, yeah, I, I can't make a check influence, like, I, I, I wouldn't get somebody, another player to make a check against you to make, to make you decide what to do. Like, you know, if it was an NPC, I'd say make a persuasion check, but it's not really. It's it's Emerith as Greg. Yeah? Yeah. Okay. Uh, I guess I will just use my bonus action to move my... my Spiritual weapon? Yeah. What, like next to smoke, or...? Yeah, that's as far as I can go. Okay. Uh, Tilly, you're hiding behind these barrels. I... How... Oh, I'm sorry. Have I skipped it already? Gareth, I can't really hear you very well. Sorry, I skipped it by accident. It's to, to do with... Attack. 
But sorry. There we go. Might be a bit better. My microphone's not put in the right place because my seats died. Um, mm -hmm. Right. So you have to talk. Freddy... Helps if you talk into your microphone. Yeah, it picks me up. Uh, right. So Freddie will um, head to the edge of the thing. Look over. He'll look over the edge and he will cast at the two guards. He's going to cast Acid Splash on them. So everyone else is saying, surrender, call off your guards, and Freddy's oh. leaning over and going, ha ha! No. Freddy will hold fast. If, they take, if the guards take any hostile action, he will throw Acid down on their heads. Okay, they so you're holding uh, Acid Splash in case the Dragon's Bane guard do anything hostile. Okay. Uh, anything else you can do? Bonus action? I don't think so. Nope, nothing no. else Freddy can do. Okay, Tilly. Um, well, I don't really want to do anything that would uh, that would interfere with the smokes and Mir's attempt to speak with this woman. Um, can you do anything to assist it? Is that something you want to do? Not without touching them, I'm afraid. Um, so, yeah, yeah, I think, um, yeah, I, I'm going, I'm going to take, um, a dodge action while st still hiding with my 12, pr previous 12, so. Okay. I'm gonna skip that turn, yeah. Just just dodge, see All what right. happens. So, Emerith. Um, having fallen down the stairs and one of your other guards fallen down with you, the other one seemingly crawled out of this uh chemical. It's not looking good uh for this particular contingent. Uh what does Emerith do in response to these uh calls for peace? Uh, Emerith casts a level two command on the two dragons being guards. To do. Mm. Well, shit. Well, <laughs> shit. Uh, if that would technically end hostilities, if that's what you want to do, so we can go out of initiative at this point if everybody's happy to do that. Yeah. Yeah. So the magic okay. in Galadin's well, hands down. would vanish. <laughs> So, uh, the Dragon's Bane Guard uh, march uh, back to their posts, which is like way around this corner, and they just keep, you know, keep on going. Uh, I would like um, uh, anyone who's just watching them can make a perception check. That's Freddy, because he was ready to cast a spell. Sure. I won't because I've oh, been Tilly, you wouldn't be able to see from where you are, I'm afraid. You're at the bottom of the stairs. <laughs> um so yeah. The yeah, there's not much uh, yeah, they, they they go out of sight, nothing else to say, uh, with those checks. Uh so it's um Emerith, everybody else, what's happening? Get me out of here. I don't care where, just not on this godforsaken island. What? Uh, we need to get our friends. We need to get them, they're inside. Can you get us in? We were planning to go through here. I can tell you the way. But if they find out I've turned, they'll kill me. Not if you come with us. Come with us and... They'll see me. They... Why do you think I waited until those two guards were out of sight? Can I make an insight check on... Emma here, please? Um, so if you like, if we're doing lies and or if we're doing persuasion, uh, Emerith, it's up to you. You can you can roll either and whisper it to me, and I can can reveal 
uh, against uh, Freddy's insight. So you whisper your role, on, whichever one you want. Okay. Oh, he's gonna roll real dice. Crazy yeah, stuff. Yeah, Crazy cool. stuff. I'm gonna use guidance on the insight roll, but. Okay, so 16 insight. Uh, if you tell me, whisper me, uh, Greg, whatever you're rolling. There is a, is there still a whisper button somewhere? Yeah, there is, bottom left of the yeah, screen. But... Forward slash W space, Dungeon Master works as well. I just missed you on Discord, that's fine. Uh, okay. I use Discord. Yeah, it's all right. Uh, so, um, it's hard for you to tell, Freddie. This fraught um, about a turn from Emerith. Uh, you're uh, are you trying to tell whether it's genuine or yeah, whether they're scared or what? Whether it, whether she is she genuinely wanting to be on our side or is she just lying to save her ass? <laughs> uh, well, she, uh, she seems very convincing. Look, uh, I, there's a there's a tree right over there. I can send you in many places on these aisles instantly. You can be out of here. If you tell us everything that we need to know in the next few minutes before the guards arrive, including how to get our friends, where they are, what happened to them, then I will do that for you. I promise. I'm, I'm not lying. I can tell you what I know, but it isn't much. It becomes quite apparent that um, the exact whereabouts of your friends um it, it is unknown and if you think uh i think the best you could offer emerith would uh either be um it, uh well it would either be um creating a space for them uh, when the guard shift is over telling them when the shift changes so they can try and sneak in the front door um, or telling her superiors, perhaps, that you are elsewhere while you sneak into the prison the the way you planned, like creating a diversion for you. But in terms of how much Emerith knows, it's clear that she didn't know that much in the first place. But you know, there... The three that were missing went missing. They're in that prison. You don't know exactly where, but you know they're in there. No, she, no, she doesn't. She, she doesn't know that. I looked. I looked to the others. <laughs> wow, this is awkward. God. This is a bit awkward. <laughs> I've, I've just been think... running the Dragon's Bane Guard. Trust... The captain's I... old. He's easily manipulated. I've just been issuing the orders through him that I was told to. Darveth's been in charge, really, for five years. And before that, you worked with Lecheria's Ilk? No, I came here with my family, with my uh, with my aunt Serene. Of course. I think we should trust her. Tisha says, I do too. That gets Tisha a smile. A shy smile from her cousin. You want us to send you away? Anywhere but here. I mean, somewhere I could see you again, but anywhere but here. Are you, so you're a prisoner? You can't just leave if you wanted to? 
No, I'm not a prisoner. I just, it's family. I just want to leave. If you want to leave and talk to us again, then should be somewhere where we can keep a watchful eye. Uh, Tilly, can we get her? Can we get her back to the temple? I can get her back to Silvercrest. But can I get... yeah, I can send word to the Zajets to put her up for the castle for now. All yeah, right. sure. I will um. Just, uh, check I'm getting this I am correctly it should be uh, the white stag pin I can use the limited recorded mimicry feature mm -hmm. I speak into it and I'll say something along the lines of um, this is Emerith we think we can trust her she, be, she, she should be looked after but a watchful eye and then I'll, I'll toss her that you give that to whoever meets you on the other side. And you lay low. Yes. Uh, Take a point of inspiration, John. That's a <laughs> real... It's a good of, I, I, I use the item! <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the item. <laughs> the, that item, I think, originally gave inspiration or something. Oh, no, that was the silver. Only when we're, yeah, yeah. when we're there, though. When we're there, when we're in there. That's amazing. I love it. Yeah. <clears throat> So I, okay. I am... Go on. No, that's fine. Okay, sorry. I, I'm completely um, not opposed even for helping this person if she asks for it. I'm happy to do it. But if there's nothing that they should do for us first, or... Uh... How can we shake this person down? How can how can we get something out of it? This this pipe that that we had the idea to get in seems like a complete no go. I've seen Tisha. I've seen what you've done, and that guard was about to melt in there. If we go in there, I just I can't see us surviving it. Which means we're kind of out of options, aren't we? Not if my cousin can. Get us in with the change of the guard. That's what. Sorry, that's what I. That's what I meant before we send her. Um, Emerith, make a history check. Even Never mind. Six. No. <laughs> I don't do much down here. Okay, tell me this. Is there anything about what your family did or was doing in the last few years raised your eyebrows or 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 affected you the the set the same way we've seen you affected in the courtyard when Gilchrist was We're with the hangers on, with the coat tails to the Savoris. We don't make decisions we're just the useful cousins there's something strange about the savoris they've all got green eyes and the teeth are always a little bit too sharp that creeps me out being around them like like jacob he's just as creepy <laughs> Wait, so Freddy doesn't react. So they're not so they're not elves? What does that mean? Well, there are elves with green eyes. I mean mine are green, they're just not shiny green. Would Freddy know what they could be based on his history and studies of the Isles? And no, no. <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> I was probably be told no. Okay. I mean, very clear. It's not common knowledge, <laughs> that's for sure. 
Right. So are there uh, I don't know. I don't know. As you are having this discussion, um who's got the highest passive perception? I assume it's Mia. Uh, I have a 16, Tish is a 17. 19. Oh, oh 19. Tilly. Tilly, um, from your vantage point, okay, coming out from behind the barrels, uh, you see the flow of sludge, toxic sludge, start to slow and dissipate out of the pipe. I... Whoa, guys, are you seeing this? Emeriff, is that does that thing come in phases? I don't know. Whoa. Uh the Savoris keep the Estefaxes out of the Undercity. I'm this this is only about my third time down here. Okay, well well this has got to be some kind of a sign, guys. If we ever gonna get in, this is it. Should we clap? We should be Send careful. Okay. Okay. Get her yeah. out. Sure. Yeah, I will. Be before um, she goes, Emerith will make sure that anything she is carrying with the Estefax or Savori crest is dumped. Where are you going to dump it? Um, in the pool of sludge. In the sludge. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So as you go over to the sludge. And you, uh, you're, um, are, you, are you taking like your dragon's bane armor off? The armor would go. I would detach one item from the shield, mm -hmm. uh, which Mir would recognize because she's got one. Um, and I would keep the sword. Okay. But the, the armor, um, the surcoat, the shield, they're going in the ship. Okay, make a perception check for me as you try and leave behind any uh, symbols of your heritage. Uh, with a 17, uh, you um, hear like a hiss, like an industrial, it sounds like an industrial vent at first, like tss. Um, and you feel the heat and warmth uh, kind of um, uh, emanating from the pipe. Uh, and as you look uh, to the right and you try and peer in, um, out of the sludge, a serpent-like creature transforms one and then another and then another out of the toxic sludge, and you see these green snake-like people uh, emerge magically um, from each pipe. Um, and, uh, yeah, one of them uh, hisses directly at Emerith, and just as she's about to drop the guardian emblem in the sludge, uh, this kind of clawed, uh, extended, uh, mutated limb grabs Emerith. Um, and at that point, folks. Well, shit. Uh, we're going to roll initiative again. Oh. <laughs> Sorry, Emerith. You almost survived this. Oh. oh, nice. Well done. Goofed. <clears throat> I say she would have walked up to the the sludge first before. I mean, all all she would have sliced off would be the. Um, the surcoat and anything with the 
symbol on it cloth wise first uh-huh. uh i rolled it <laughs> you still are you begging for keeping your armor on? <laughs> well the, the, i mean armor takes 10 minutes plate armor takes yeah it does to take off it does sorry i rolled a 14 i didn't have the token select you can should be able to manually adjust <laughs> if you select it again and roll you can then replace whatever number comes up <laughs> We saw those uh, rolls yeah, we can see you, right? Yeah, yeah. Oof. Did you have your token selected this time? Yeah, I did. Uh, so you can, yeah, I'll change it for you. It's fine. Oh no! Well done. Oh, what is that? Turn order settings. Yikes. Uh, okay, so as the sludge dissipates, uh, these uh, mutant snake people emerge from the pipes as uh, conveniently as Emerith was about to make her escape. Maybe she's being watched more closely uh, than she realizes. Tisha, what are you doing? Um, Tisha is going to try and jump down like onto the barrel and onto the floor to aid her cousin heroically. Okay. She's jumping down, then it's going to be an acrobatics check. Can she fly at that... the moment? She, uh, you, she was flying, but I'm not sure how much that lasts for. But she can totally fly down. Can she fly down? <laughs> can she? I don't know. What's that ability exactly. used? Uh, yeah. Is um, Tempestuous Magic as a bonus action. You can cause gusts of air to surround you before or after you cast oh, a spell of first level or higher. Mm -hmm. So I'll, I'll do it and then I'll cast a spell. Okay. She flies One down spell. and casts a spell. Yeah, and the spell is... Um, sure, is Chaos Bolt, which I absolutely do not understand whenever... Lucy cast this. Um, but she's going to do it twinned again uh, using a sorcery point and cast it on the two directly closest to Emerith. Okay. So I think she rolled a 27 to hit. They hit. For nine chaos energy. It's either three or it's either fire or poison as the damage type. All right. Okay. You're... We'll go fire. Okay, and how it, it, does that mean there's nine fire damage, is it, or...? Fourteen fire damage. Fourteen fire damage, cool. All right, um, yeah. And does that hit them? Yeah, it does. So then um, her shard triggers mm -hmm. again, um, meaning that the one directly in front uh, of... Emerith has disadvantage on attack rolls and ability checks before the start of Tish's next turn. Okay. Uh, end of her turn. Is she is she still flying or is she landed? Um, I maybe she'll fly. I, I quite like her to land. I want her to look like she's mm -hmm. in solidarity with her with there cousin. Okay. Yeah. Freddy. Freddy with a shout of. Stay away from my wife. <laughs> I'm going to point at this spot here. Well, here, and a bright streak is going to go from his finger as he casts Fireball at fifth level. Of course. Uh, fifth level Fireball. All, all of them apart from the two that Tish has just hit. Uh, even this one? No, sorry. It won't hit that. Sorry, that one and that one it won't hit. It'll hit all the others. Okay, so I need to make deck saves. Yeah. We're pretty good at deck saves. Eat the 18. Boom. Okay. Um, that wasn't it. Hold on. That's going to be a lot of rolling done. Yeah. Uh, one, two, three, four, five. Uh, two of the. Uh, People, the, these people uh, succeed. Um, they take seventeen damage, fire damage. 
Okay. The others take 34 hours. Okay, hold on. 17. Um, 17. 34. Yep. Yikes. Nice. Uh, I've not done the other ones yet. Hold on. Um, dex, dex, dex. One, two, three, four. Uh, only one of them fails. Okay. So they take. Of... Yep. Half down. Oh no, there's only three. Sorry. So, uh, which one did I just roll for? One. Uh, so the the one that fails takes thirty four. Yeah. And the other take 17. Okay, well, that's uh, really fucked them up big time. What, can, can I ask, what what happens? Does the sludge react in any way to fire? Does it burn up? Does it... Yeah, is it now on fire? <laughs> um, no. Um, it is... Um, it, it, it's... Uh, what's the word? Uh, caustic and corrosive, but not flammable. Oh, well, it's good to know. And with that, Freddy grabs the the sort of railing edge balustrade and holds on white knuckled, waiting. See okay, <laughs> you're not going to heroically jump in front of your wife, no? Because <laughs> he'll fall over because he knows he's useless. At that <laughs> okay, so. Uh, the Montanay Estefax cousins get swarmed. Um, so bear with me. Uh, Emerith first. Um, uh, is a twenty-one hit? Uh, it does. Yeah, is that your AC? No, it's twenty. Uh, okay, so two out of three will hit. Uh, so take uh, eight piercing and six slashing damage from the first one. Um, fuck it, I'll get give myself advantage as the other one goes behind. So, oh, it gets all right. Anyway, uh, one will miss, then another twenty-one, and then a crit again, twenty-four. Uh, so that'll be 16 slashing damage in total. I will cancel the crit on myself. Uh, okay, so that is reduced to 13 slashing, not 16. That was a really low crit roll. Uh, that was your reaction, right? Uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. What's there? Walking speed. Uh, it's only 30 feet. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. We're going to do some dash action, I think. One, two, three, four, five. Two. One, two, three. Okay. Uh, smoke. Uh, right, okay. See all these... Uh, Menacing creatures emerge from the sludge and swarm Emerith and Tisha. Yeah, um, I'll just get my bonus action out of the way for a second wind. 17. Uh, oops. Yeah. Uh, I'll use an action surge to um, uh, Use lycanthropy to change into my hybrid form cool. as I'm bounding down the stairs. Mm -hmm. Um, was going to do just that, but I've used my action surge to do it because it looks like Emerith is in a spot of trouble. Mm -hmm. So let's uh, attacks. Uh, yeah, I'm just going to go ahead and start wailing on these snake people or okay. oh, crit off the bat. Straight away, let's go. Uh, yeah. That is a what are we on? Eleven slashing, sixteen numbers. fire, nineteen uh, fire. To which one? Oh, I'm misreading it. Um, the top one there. 
at that you 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 cut a swathe straight through the middle of this serpent person and uh it's top its torso goes flying to the right and its legs fall into the sludge to your left amazing um this one that's in between me and tisha do i have a uh flanking by, by any chance um they have they engaged Tisha that one? That one's not engaged with Tisha, it's engaged with Emerith, so I'm gonna say no unfortunately. Okay, go with this. Uh twenty seven though. Yeah, it hits. Nine slashing fourteen fire on that one. Destroyed. Oh nice. Yay. So uh I'm gonna go it's into like his space. Is that okay if I just move it there? That won't mess you up, will it? Uh I, it's I all right. Can, I'll I, just, can, I can still I'll... move my yeah, yeah. I'll just make it disappear, that's fine. Uh, and then we'll go for that last one there in the corner. Mm hmm. Uh, 28 to hit. Yeah, yeah. 11 slash in 6 fire. Just wasted. Oh, nice. Jesus. <laughs> so, yeah, I'll just slice through those and then I will. Uh, through his space. Sorry, wait, let me just check how much movement I had. I was there. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25. 30, 30, yeah, 35, I can get there. Mm -hmm. I'm just going to crowd these near Tisha to make sure she's protected as well. That's it for now. Nice. Uh, smoke brings a whole world of hurt on these serpentine people. Mia, is your spiritual weapon still up, Mia? How long is it yeah, possible? that one's gone. Okay. Let's make that this bit. Mm -hmm. So what are you doing? These, these things, like, right at the entrance, are they... Yeah. They look, like, bigger? Yeah. Cool. Um, I want to cast Guiding Ball at one of them. Okay, because they're in the pipe, kind of, uh, they've got um, half cover, I'm going to say, so slightly higher AC, slightly more difficult shot. Okay. Uh, oh. Yeah, okay, I'll do what I thought that was going to do. Mm -hmm. uh, 18. Just hits. Yeah! Um, for Sweet. 25 radiant damage. Is this the closest one? Yeah. Yeah, okay. Um, and... it, it lets out a hiss um, and uh, looks straight towards you, glowing green eyes. Cool. Then uh, the next attack on it, advantage. Um, mm -hmm. I've lit it up. And can I use my movement to jump? Actually, no, if it's looking at me, I'm going to stay up here. Um, okay. I'm gonna use um, a bone. No, I'm not because I'm not a unicorn. That's it. Thanks. Okay. Uh, Tilly. It would actually be Emerith. Oh, I'm sorry. 14, but I've not been. Oh, you've not. Oh, it wasn't arranged on the turn order. Sorry, sorry. Uh, there we go. That's fine. It's Emerith then. Uh, um. <coughs> seeing how easily these um, smaller creatures go down. Um, mm -hmm. Emerith had planned to put up Spirit Guardians, but is now instead going to cast Aura of Purity. Each non-hostile creature can't become diseased, has resistance to poison damage, and advantage on saving what? throws, effects that cause... You're, you're going you're going in there with us. <laughs> <laughs> and Jesus. Uh, that is my action. So for bonus action, uh, I will move to there. Um because I know that won't trigger any opportunity attacks. And mm -hmm. I don't think I've got a bonus action. At least I've got my reaction back, but yeah. Okay. That's it for now. Tilly. That's an insanely good spell. Hmm. Could be very useful. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um Tilly's going to I'm gonna I'm gonna walk around this guy to to get out of the sort of space between the wall and the dude. Mm hmm And um She's uh, she's going to look around, see how many opponents they're facing, and say, uh, "Um, might be, might be time for some war pass." And I'm going to transform into wild shape. Okay, tell me what you transform into. 
Ooh. A hulking crab. <laughs> <laughs> hulking oh, crab. Yep. I is have it, a token for that. How large is it? Huge. It's huge. Yeah. <laughs> so it is literally this big. Whoa. Uh, <laughs> right, what's the HP? 76. That's pretty good. Yeah. Uh, okay. Uh, we can just about place you here. What's its strength? 19. Not bad. Not quite as strong as me, but uh, whatever. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so you've transformed. Anything else you can do? You can attack? Yes, I am going to uh, attack these two dudes because I got two attacks. So mm -hmm. uh, nearest one first. Oh, that's not gonna hit. A nine doesn't hit. Twenty-four does though. So thirteen bludgeoning. Mm. And the target is grappled. Just automatically. Yes. Okay. In the pincer. And um uh Yeah, that's it. Okay. That's it. <laughs> These larger snake creatures emerge from the tunnel um and go to swarm Tisha and Emerith. Uh one, two, uh this one's going to do a reckless attack, so it's going to get advantage, but uh, people already have advantage on attacks against him. Um, so, um, they seem to have weapons, these ones. Um, um, Tisha, there's a 16 hit. Uh, no, if I use my reaction to cast shield, it doesn't. Okay, and then what does your AC become? Uh, Plus five. Twenty! Oh, then the other attack will miss as well. And I will get a sentinel attack on it. Uh, okay. Uh, did you use your reaction to cancel a crit? No, you got it back, didn't you? Sorry. Yeah, I've got a new tip. Yeah, okay, go make that attack. Oh, it's with advantage, isn't it? Does a 21 hit anyway? It does, yeah. Okay. You might as well roll again, because you might get a crit. Yeah. No. No. So, yeah, 21 hits. Just, yeah. Uh... So that is one or two-handed, is it? One-handed. It's one-handed. Um, I think that includes the D8 for improved smite. Um, uh, it does the extra radiant damage, yeah. yeah so it's 15, 13 it until. With the weapon of certain death, it cannot heal until okay. the start of my turn. Very good. Um, so, uh, one, two, three. Uh, we'll get another, some attacks off, another reckless attack on Emerith this time. I just rolled two crits in a row. 25, 25. Can anyone cancel one of them? Yes. Oh, well, I can silvery barbs it. Yeah, me, I can cancel one. Uh, actually, no, I'm not going to. I think. Okay. Yeah, Freddie or silvery barbs it, one of them. Okay, so the, other, the 25 turns into a 23. Um, so I'll get um, nine. Uh, it's only 14 slashing damage in total. Uh, and who are you giving advantage to on their next attack with Silvery um, Barbs there? I'll give it to Smoke. Okay. Because Smoke seems to be doing very well at protecting it. One, for me. two, three, four, five. Yeah, the Aura of Purity stays. Oh. Yeah, I'll do uh, some more attacks. Um, more Reckless. 24 and a 19. 
24 will hit one. Yeah, so it's uh, six slashing damage. Two, three, four. It's not going to quite make it. Uh, maybe I'll do a dash action and get right up to smoke. That's uh, another successful save on the Aura of Purity. Uh, now, smoke, Emerith, Tisha, surrounded, but uh, this giant crab looks like it might make short work of these snake people. Uh, with Tisha able to respond first, what are you doing, Tisha? Um. Okay. There, I'm gonna. Emerith is looking rough. She's below half. Oh yeah, I can't see Emerith far, um, but that's fine. I can fix that. Um, Gareth, it's only seven days after they get married. Of seven days. It's... Yeah, not forever. Ah, uh, I thought it was forever. <laughs> um, that would be good. Okay. Um, so, that's why we were joking that you're going to get divorced and married again, right? So. Yeah, we've had, <laughs> we've had a 10 day since then. Oh, yeah. She's over it. Fair enough. Um, yeah, the honeymoon period's over now. Yeah. <laughs> At least you got one, um, unlike the Prime Minister. Ooh! <sighs> Are these guys engaged with Tisha. If she moves, is she going to get an opportunity attack from them? Uh, the, the one with the little uh, wrench sign is grappled in uh, the giant crab's claws. Mm -hmm. uh, the other one um, is engaged with Tisha, yeah. Um, okay, I'm going to... Uh... Yeah, this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to use my action to disengage, move here, okay. and then I'm going to use two sorcery points to use a quickened spell, and I'm going to use lightning bolt in a line on these three in front of me. That sounds like That's a tissue thing to do, yeah? Yeah, okay. Um, <laughs> Probably not what I was saying. is it? Um, yeah. I think so. Yeah. Deck saves. So. All the damage. The, uh, the first one just in front of Tisha fails. The one behind succeeds. Mm -hmm. And then the other one uh, fails. Okay. So the ones that fail take 30 lightning damage. Yeah. 30? 30. Okay, right. Hold on, hold on. Uh, the first one is completely obliterated. Great. Uh, the other one is looking real, real rough as they let out a squeal and a hiss and they step back into the uh, viscous goo. Uh, and then okay. the middle one takes 15, presumably, or none? 15. Jeez. Yeah, and... Um... They also, because I used uh, sorcery points, they get got by the shard, so they also have disadvantage on all ability checks and attack hmm. rolls until the start of Tish's next go. Lucy doesn't think to use this shard very much, and I'm now only now really discovering how fucking broken it is. <laughs> um, but yeah, she's watching. Cool. She's watching. You know, she's actually know. telling us in the chat to use it. Is she? Oh well. No. Hey, Lucy. <laughs> <How about that? laughs> no, well done, obviously. Um, uh oh, <laughs> she's typing. Uh, that's, that's the turn. <laughs> she, she said to um, fuck off. <laughs> yeah, I deserve that. <laughs> uh, awesome. done. You're done. Uh, yeah. Freddie, after um, emulating uh, all of these motherfuckers and reducing some of them to dust. What are you doing with your next spell? Or I'm going to take two, I'm going to walk ten paces north to here, turn diagonally, and using my, um, not to copy Tisha at all, but using my um, wand of lightning bolts. Oh, shit, you got a wand of it? <laughs> I'm going to cast lightning bolt diagonally through these two. Cool. So more deck saves. More deck saves. 
and one uh, of them has disadvantage. Oh, no, no, not on saves, sorry. Not on saves, no. Well, the first one crit failed. 25 and the second one also failed. Uh, so 25 lightning damage each. Yep. Yeah, uh, that first one in particular is looking rough. And as a bonus action, because uh, I used the charge for my thing, I'm going to cast... Uh, I'm going to upscale it second level. I'm going to cast Healing Word on Emerith. Okay. So nine points of healing. <coughs> And that's my turn. Okay, it's the UNT Brood Guard now, even though you can't see them on the turn order, because I've disappeared one of the tokens. Uh, the one that's grappled in the crabby claws is going to just <laughs> try and stab the crab. So to make, speak. make some crab sticks. Yeah. Um... Oh, a crit, a 23, and an 8. How many the eight, the eight doesn't, the eight doesn't, doesn't miss. Yeah. Okay, so it's 13 uh, combination of piercing and slashing damage in total. Okay. Uh, the other one uh, is going to try and help its mate. Um, sure. So let's try. I've rolled so many crits, I haven't rolled another one. Uh, there's a 15 hit. No. No, well, none of those hit, you fucking useless bastard. <laughs> um... Okay, that I think they're the only ones left of those, so it smokes go. <laughs> okay, well, uh, looks like they're being handled. Uh, I'll turn around to the bigger one there mm -hmm. and go for it. 28? Yeah, yeah. Uh, 9 slash in 13 fire. Bad. Eight fire. Uh, okay, yeah, they're not looking great now. Oh, eight fire. Oh, fire's the second one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sorry, that's my mistake. Oh, okay. Sorry. Uh, nine slash and eight fire, yeah. Uh, yeah. A miss. Uh, oh, do I... Mm -hmm. what, what was the thing with the advantage? Is that just on my first attack from Silvery Barbs, Gareth? Uh, let me have a look. Sorry. Um... I think it is, yeah. So it just yeah, next first attack one, so... roll. Yeah, yeah, that's fine. That's fine. So there's a miss there. And then a 19? Uh, hits. Nine slash and nine fire. Destroyed. Nice. Uh, with that other one, I'm going to use my Shield Master Shove mm -hmm. with a bonus action. Uh, I'm going to try and knock him prone, the one in front of Emerith. Yep. Um, it's a contested... Uh, he, he can use acrobatics or athletics, up to you. He's got 27 <laughs> to beat. I rolled a crit. Oh. And literally another crit. Ah, is it more than 27? More than 27. Quit auto succeeds. Okay. It? Okay. Uh, yeah, but that's it though. I took that one out. Um, yep. Okay. Uh, it's now Mia's go. Yeah. Um, this one here. How's he looking? Not great. None of them okay. looking good, to be honest. <laughs> that's fine. Um, That's okay. From up there, um, Mir is going to do just a small toll the dead. Just a small one. Just a, just a teeny tiny toll the dead. So how many people am I making saves for? It's, it's just one. Oh, uh, so the nearest one there, yeah? Okay. Uh, I wish I could twin it. That would be fun. Wizzy. Nope. Failed. Take 20 necrotic. You obliterate them with this necrotic resonance. Um, mm. Cool. And then um, as a bonus action, am I going to cast anything? I don't think I'm going to do anything. No, I'm just going to leave it. Thanks. Okay. <laughs> Excuse me. Uh, Emerith, um, but one of these monstrous Malazans stands uh, in front of you. These other two uh, more kind of uh, spindly, slimy, serpentine creatures 
I've got their hands full with the giant crab. What are you doing? Um, I think for the first time, she's just going to get to use her sword as her main action. Mm. So with, with the sword man, she just finds like, right, I've had enough of this. Twenty-two. Yeah, that'll hit. Awful, awful damage. Rob. Only ten. Uh, they're not looking great though. After that successful hit, you carve the weapon of certain death, the long sword of death, across the. Yeah. Here hey, we go. Oh no! Oh, there, there it is. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> Have fun in hell. <laughs> 18 is enough to destroy this creature. How do you do it with a crit? Um, the, the sword, having sliced down and through, comes back around and just straight up. It's, it's just crotch to throat. Um, On this. And then a kick to get the corpse off the sword. Awesome. You dislodge your sword from this um, serpentine corpse. I want you to just make a nature check for me, Emerith. Uh, given the crit, I'm going to see if I can give you a little more. Mm. Nope. What a weird thing to ask. Never mind. <laughs> <laughs> Anything useful you could have given us. Nope. <laughs> Zero nope. Is below it then. <laughs> um, so is that the end of your turn, Emerith, or are you moving, or...? Um, yeah, I'm going to just back up one square to put myself in range of these two. Okay. Uh, Tilly, crab time. Yeah, crab time. How do you like them sticks? Fifteen? Uh, just hits, yeah. Twenty bludgeoning. Is that the one in your claws? Yes. Snip. I, yeah, just close the claws. And good night. Destroyed. Uh, the on the other one, I'm gonna miss, unfortunately. Never mind. Uh, is that so? You you no longer have what a creature grappled. So do you want it? Do you want to move or you stay where you are? Yeah, I'll um. I am going to move away from this guy. Mm -hmm. I want to go stand in the sludge to see what effect it has on me. Okay. Uh, it will take attack of opportunity against you, I think. Sure. Um, and it'll do that by trying to bite you. And I, <laughs> I don't believe this. This is another crit that I've rolled. This is like the seventh or eighth crit of this second encounter or something ridiculous. Uh, 11 piercing damage. Um, so it, it, it tries to gnaw on one of your legs as you withdraw it, uh, and you scutter, uh, scuttle sideways towards this, uh, toxic, uh, goo. Just, um, like, dip a leg in it. Yeah, um, I just, I need your stat block, to be honest. Cook, cook, cooked crab legs. Um... Yeah, Hulking, Hulking Crab, you can find him. Yeah, bear with me. Resistance to poison, because the aura of purity I... is a lot. Oh yeah, I do have that uh, from you, but... He doesn't, it doesn't have any sort of resistance. Yeah. To okay, so uh, you can make a constitution saving throw, uh, and uh, yeah, well, that's it. Constitution saving throw. Uh, you are not poisoned, uh, but you take uh, one poison damage, and with being that you're resistant to it in this aura, it's reduced to none. That's and sweet. No damage. Uh, so it doesn't do anything. That... You... Yeah, it's fine. You have got advantage on that saving throw as well. Yeah, no, that wouldn't matter. Mm -hmm. um, I moved sort of 10 feet, and then I'm just moving a little bit back, and that's okay. it. Uh, Tisha. Yeah. Um, over across the barrels, Tisha mm -hmm. is going to direct just a little fireball at this. Is this the last one? Yep. 
24 to hit. It had 11 HP left. <laughs> <laughs> Smoking. Yeah, it burns. They do. Um, I'll give Tisha the nature check this time. Uh, hey, do you know what? She's going to roll an 18. Uh, you're going to use the portent on this? Mm -hmm. Okay. Yes. So, uh, as uh, Tisha flings this fireball across the barrel, um, some of the like toxic goop... Um, uh, yeah, and the fire seemed to uh, react with the skin of this serpentine creature, um, and some of the scales like burn off, or, you know, with acid and fire, uh, and they stumble back and let out a screech and fall back. Um, so you can tell that this fireball has had a material effect on the body. Um, Anybody nearby, can, with uh, now that that's been noticed, can make a medicine check if they wish. Make one with the crab. Can I, can, can I make one with the crab? <laughs> well, you wouldn't be able to communicate anything that you find out uh, as a crab. I don't think. Well, I can. I could do that later. I could notice. Do you think it. that mirror is close enough? Um. Rab has plus nine. Well, because we're going to be out of initiative now, I'm not going to say I'm not going to uh, limit you to where you are on the map. So anyone who wants to can make one. Still hot. Yeah. Oh, okay. actually, I don't even roll crab stuff because uh, I keep my mental abilities myself. Okay. Uh, well, sixteen from Tilly and Mia will be enough. Uh, this creature that's emerged from these pipes. Um, it's like it's got this like serpentine head, and you see these like weird elongated claws, uh, and the legs are kind of like uh, the knees bend backwards, like some kind of like animal. But its torso, where it was hit with the firebolt, see like like a uh, human collarbone and like pectoral muscle and like nipple. <gasps> oh my god! They're turning them into these things. I'll draw, I'll draw the ship. Okay, you're coming back. I'll just clear the turn order. Uh, hold on. All the people that are going missing, they've been made to go into the sewer, they've been put in the sewer, and they've turned into these creatures. Right? Oh, God, this is a mercy. I'm just like, you know, stab into the neck, finish one off. Mm -hmm. This isn't right. If that's true, then these pipes are going to be full of them, surely. Maybe. Could I have, have you, Mamre? Have, have you seen any, any of them Never. before? No. I think it's quite clear that Emirates never seen anything like this. The last oh. one here, could Freddy have her inspect the body a little bit before we throw it into the thing? For what? Just, just wants to look into the nature of it. Is it magic, magical means that have been turned into this, or is it some sort of... Okay, you can make an arcana or medicine check. Go with arcana. Okay, with a 19, um, it's difficult, because, because of the condition of the body, it's hard to understand exactly what has happened. But there has definitely been some almost like transmutation of the skin. So it could be like a ritual or um, it doesn't look very natural to you. So the magical change in origin, some form of transmutation on them. Must have been painful, I would imagine. Just makes me not want to go in there even more. Makes me we think about Libyan, Nayeen. I want to go Shamsel in there even Luke. more now. Who? Oh, yeah, Shamsel Luke, sure. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, that guy. <laughs> <laughs> Look, we could, we could debate it for a super a very long time. I think this is a stealthy way of getting in, but it's definitely 
very, very dangerous. Did you say you um, knew a way for us to get in safely? Before you were attacked, you said you could get us in if we let you go. I said, did she say she could tell them what she knew? Ah, okay. Yeah. Does that include a way in? A better way in than this? No. Well, we discussed the ways in, Gareth. There was either yeah. sneaking in uh, through the front door with a guard change, or seemingly this uh, is not impassable, this pipe. Yeah, yeah. I mean, um, maybe it's best to get in with the guard change. Me, we'll say. I don't know. Uh, <clears throat> um, have you been in the prison before at all? No. No. She doesn't know any. Okay. So she said already she doesn't alone. really do it's anything in the embassy. Squeeze her for information. She doesn't know anything. <laughs> no, no, she no. rolled a low um, history check, okay? That's, yeah. that's the end yeah, of it. Yeah, it, it was pretty low. She's done. Um, Turn the how, screen and send her away. Where we are here, how far is it to the wall? Dan? Um, well, the pipe um, goes... Uh, under that road, and that road's probably about uh, 30 feet to the wall, so it's about 20 feet north of the map is where the wall is. Okay. I mean... If we could if maybe we make it... Past if the we guards, could... we have more... We have more means to do so. Changing <laughs> to animals, using our stealth skills. What do you yeah. think? We could we could we could fly over. Uh, although, like birds here might be suspicious, but bats will not, right? If we go into bats, we could just literally fly over land on the on the roof and then try and get in. That's an option. Or, or mice. Well, yeah. Bats, I mean, we could. Yeah, yeah. If they're changing, they'll be distracted. Could work. Yeah. Mice and rats don't seem like they'd be all that uncommon around here. Especially not in a, a prison atop a sewer. Remember last time we turned into something flying, they caught us, so they could be watching us now. And plus, they could be coming back, right? That those two that were you were sent away, they might bring others right here. Uh, we probably don't have a lot of time at all. <laughs> no. We have to move. We have nice, to move. Nice meeting you, Amaris. It was good. We'll see you on was... the other side. If we Thank you for the, the guards change uh, at midnight, and it's what two o'clock in the afternoon at the most. Oh. Oh well, shit. Too much, too yeah, long. Too the <laughs> they're gonna be, they, they're gonna be turned into these things by then. Um, yeah, let's go. I think bats and flying through the pipe might be the best option. We don't have enough time to wait. I don't think. No, it's dangerous. So. Yeah. Is Emerith joining? Um, given that the aura of purity was so useful, or having, having seen what's come out of the pipe and. Um, yeah, Emmerich looks at you. Says, "I'll, um, I'll see this through." Yes, you all. How good? Thank you. Thank you. We need Heroic. you. I'll, um, I'll uh, put my hand on the side of her shoulder and cast. Uh, <laughs> third level cure wounds. Okay. Uh, do you mind if we just take uh, a couple of minutes? That's yeah, be all right. Yeah. Sure. Yeah. Be yeah. Right yeah. break. Yeah. All right. <laughs>
The spotlight is going to be back on you. Okay. Jacob time. Yeah. Uh, I, I, if you can get up uh, Jacob's character sheet, I'd like you to make me a uh, charisma saving throw at disadvantage. Okay. So is, is it a spell or just not? Or not? I'd just like you to make me a charisma saving throw at disadvantage. Crit fail. Crit fail. Okay. Jacob always fails when he needs to. Yeah, it's very reliable in that regard. Uh, I want you to tell me what Jacob's worst fear is. What? Originally, it would have been the cruel sort of back in his, under his father's cruelty and unable to escape from it. I don't know if it was still, that was what it was. I don't know if it would still be the same after everything that's happened. Probably the abyss. Actually, it would be being back in the abyss. Okay, lingering in the abyss forever. Yeah. Unknown, unable to reach out to his friends. Yeah, unable to see, do anything, just a black void. Okay. Your eyes open. Your chest feels heavy. You are subconsciously clutching onto your bed frame. You feel the cold steel of manacles around your wrists. And you feel like a weight pressing down upon you. Your eyes are still closed. You struggle to breathe. Call out. Who do you call out for in this moment? Uh, probably Umberly. She saved me last time. So, Umberly, help me. You open your eyes, calling out to the bitch queen. And the, you see before you an eclipse, a solar eclipse, where the moon blots out the divine rays of the sun and this piercing black dot in the sky grows bigger. And this dark shadow passes across you ominously and foreboding. You try to call out for Umberly, say her name, but there are no words. The sea has boiled, and nothing exists on this terra firma except sun-bleached rock, grey and white nothingness. An expanse that reminds you of the fuge plane, or worse, the abyss. As terror takes hold of your heart, you, you gasp, and the light of the eclipse goes out. And you're in a cold room. Cold stone room. 
draped in rags, sweating a cold sweat of fear. Who's there? Oh. Uh, hello? Hello? You hear a voice from beyond this confinement. Who disturbs me? I don't know where I am. It's... Who are you? I'm Jacob. Jacob? Yeah. Come to the bars, boy. I think I recognise the voice at this point. Step to the Can I move to the bars? Yeah, you can get up. Yeah. You're manacled, but you can I didn't get know if to the bars. Manacled to the frame or just manacled. I'll move can... to the bars. Look into the dark. You see a cloaked figure hunched over a desk, manacled themselves. My boy. Is that you? Father? He gets up and moves to the bars to appraise you more closely. It is some cruel joke. Who are you? Jacob Acharya. You're not Jacob! Don't use his name! Can't be. I ran away. Ran to Silvercrest. Met up with people. You sent me a letter asking for me to come back. So you needed my help. This happened on the way. I sent a letter calling for my son to return. My son is of noble lineage, the f my first heir and lord of Last Hollow in my stead. You are some vile creature. Not deserving of my name. If you are Jacob, tell me something only he would know. The amulet of mother, I took it. I kept it, I hid it from you, from everyone. I took it with me and I ran. And your sword. Cherished it. You know you'd always you never let me ask any questions about her. You if I asked I was beaten or sent to my rooms. I learnt not to ask. Who was your instructor as you were confined to Castle Acheria? Oh. <laughs> One second, yeah. Dad. I'm just checking my notes. Here's the. A... <laughs> just checking my notes. Not to put any pressure on you, but even Greg knows this, Gareth. Je at Jeff, Jeffrey Ashton. Hmm. He hated me. Well, he had never had much time for me. He still, well. He greeted us when we arrived back at the city. Ashton is a traitor. I got that impression. But it doesn't matter. My hopes are dashed. My worst fears have come true. 
you are one of them. One of who? I woke up like this. You are your mother's son. Mother was like this? She was. That's why I killed her. You... What? You killed her for being like this? Will you kill me too? Those Savoris sold the Bremenis, the Savoris, the Estefax, all the elves. They sold me a lie. I freed Last Hollow from the clutches of that dragon and I was promised noble lineage. But my lineage is nothing but a scaly joke. Look at you. I kept you away from your mother. I kept you away from the citizens of Last Hollow because I was afraid of what you would become. And my fears were justified. Because I look like them does not mean I am like them. I have met the my so-called cousins, Gilcrest and the other, and I am not like them. I would not do the same. You at least taught me justice, and my travels taught me to look out for those who can't. I am. And I did not come alone. My friends would ha will help. You are. Things are not as dark as they seem, Father. There is no hope left. There's Leave hope this there. place. Give up any aspirations you have. I never loved you. And with that, you wake up. You bastard. <laughs> you absolute fat bastard, Daniel Burton. <laughs> of course we uh, cut back to the rest of the party who like so I'm just arrange your tokens or get your tokens you've gone in the you've gone in the sewers you crazy fuckers um, <laughs> like drink vitality lasts for 10 minutes. Okay, so, so purity. we can, uh, we can probably, um, help a little bit if I, if I throw a cone of cold inside the pipe and freeze the, the sludge. Uh, but we might have to skate for 60 feet. I can spam. <laughs> Freddy can spam, um, <coughs> box rays on it as well. Keep it cold. Okay. Didn't the fire react with it as well. <laughs> no, the fire had no reaction. Yeah, fire didn't, didn't do anything. I, I asked that, yeah. Okay. Uh, I thought but, it did on a nature check or a medicine check earlier, but that's that was that was on a creature, not on the sludge. Mm -hmm. I think. Oh, okay. Right. right. Um, I don't know what I's gonna do, but this thing I I normally never use because it hurts creatures. So uh, I usually just use it for environmental things. Anyway, it's the blessing of the frost maiden. Um. So let's see what it does, yeah? I'll do it in one pipe, and then if it fucking does bad thing, we'll go in the other. And I, I just do it. I cast Cone of Cold, cone of cold inside, mm -hmm. trying to freeze the sludge for uh, 60 feet. Now, the sludge is quite hot 
and viscous. And when you cast Cone of Cold, it does cool it down, but it doesn't turn it into a frozen surface. Uh, the best it would do is something that you've already really got, which is an advantage on Constitution saving throws because you're going less contact. Yeah, fair enough. My my idea is like for sixty feet, we've got this. Then, then Emrys casts his, and at least we'll extend that duration a little bit. I don't know. It doesn't cost us anything. Um, if if we're all, are we flying in as an animal, or are we walking in, or what are we doing? I think the idea was to run through, right? I can change us into animals if you want to. Um, but that will be my highest spell for the day. Let's save it till we're sure we need it. Yeah. Sure. Okay. So, um, if you're all going in and with the uh, Ore of Purity and the Cone of Cold, I'm going to give you all advantage on a constitution saving throw. Uh, okay, so that means uh, Smoke and Tisha are poisoned. Um, Tisha got a 22. Because it's advantage. Oh, okay, yeah. Uh, sorry, I don't know why it's did not come up there. Sorry, apologies. Tisha got 22, so it's only Smoke who failed. Um, so, what that means is, um, I'm going to do, um, everyone who passed just takes, um, 12 poison damage and makes it successfully through without getting poison. Does that include the resistance? If you're all, if you're... Sorry, hold on. If you fail, you take 24, and the resistance reduces it to 12. If you pass, you take 12, and resistance reduces it to 6. Very nice. Uh, shit, I don't remember how much I was on, because the token's not here, but I don't think I lost much. Maybe 2. Oh, I'm sorry. I will, uh, don't adjust your token there. I've, just, I've gone, moved on to a different map. So we're here now. Hopefully you can see. You come out of a, a smaller pipe. Oh, yeah. Oh, no. Uh, Dan. Yeah? I see the wrong thing on this map. Oh, okay. Oh, no, because you're Jacob. Close uh, your eyes. Quickly. GM layer, there you go. So you should still now, you should now be able to see through Freddy's eyes. Although, put him. I don't have dark vision, so I can't You don't see have dark it. vision, so yeah, that's the problem that you probably could have solved in the pipe. So what would you have done? Got the light cantrip, had to cast it on something. On um, what? Or, or asked a spell, or asked Tisha Tilly. You're a spellcaster. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Cast light. Um, okay, so I give you vision, and I give you uh, light. Tell me the is it five foot of bright light? Twenty tell- foot. 20 foot bright, 20 foot dim. Okay. And M- meet me on... until he don't have dark vision either. I can't uh... see anything. Can uh... Hold on one sec. Half elves do. Half elves have got... Uh... Oh, elves have got 60 feet. Sorry. There you go. Can we see you now? Uh, to the right of the map. Can everybody yeah. see? Just, yeah, yeah, just a square that. square thing. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Sorry, Dan, I just wanted so, to confirm. I, I took the full poison damage, and but I also have the poisoned condition as well. Yes. Yeah, got it. Uh, so we could do a little, like, symbol on yours. We could just, like, yeah, maybe yeah, that or something. Yeah, yeah, cool. yeah. Uh, At this point, Emerith is going to burn 50 points of lay on hands on herself. And five on smoke. <coughs> oh, thank you. I feel better. Paladins. Paladins. Yeah. That removes the condition, doesn't it? It does. Well, well it's true, I, I guess. 
I don't know. What sort so of there are two there? doors. Yeah, you see this. Uh, mm -hmm. You you come out through this narrow pipe uh, in the bowels of this construction, uh, and yeah, in this small room. Um, yeah, there's one door uh, just behind Freddy in the corner, and there's one just behind Smoke uh, to the left. I'm going to burn three level two spell slots and give some carrot to sniff to Mir and Freddy. Oh, thank you. Okay. I'll end the cantrip on the rock. Or the... Yeah, it might be better if we're not seen. That's a good plan. Thank you, Tilly. And then... <laughs> you can... I know. <laughs> I'm going to cast Pass Without a Trace. <laughs> Okay. Let's go. Which, mm -hmm. which door are you trying? Well, I'm next to this one, so I'll just maybe press my ear up against it. Maybe it's a thick okay. door that might not work. I don't know, but... Make a perception check. I think it's disadvantage when you're poisoned, is it? Uh, I'm not free of the poison, poison, thanks to Oh, you free of the poison, sorry. Yeah, okay, sure. Yeah. Um... Actually, sorry, if, I t if you use the five points to remove a condition, it, it doesn't also do the healing. No. It's, it's no instead. Healing. So hold on, yeah. Mm -hmm. Just need to just be one. Uh, perception check. <clears throat> ah, seven. Seems oh, clear to you. I will try <laughs> the door. Um, this uh, door um, is uh, just, it's not like a conventional door, it seems like an industrial door. Mm. It's like thick raw iron door, and it's got like um, almost like corroded surface, like as if the fumes from the pipe have had a effect just on the uh, on the materials in this room over time. So there's no there's no handle or brace, anything that you can see. It just seems like a, a raw iron sheet across the door. Okay, if I just push with the normal effort, it doesn't budge. Uh, make an athletics check. Okay. I'm not, I just want to I clarify. I'm not trying to like do anything to like yeah, bust yeah. it we'll down, just see. but I just give yeah, it a yeah. push just to check. Emerith mm -hmm. will assist. 22. Oh, uh, with a twenty-two, you uh, spread your weight across the door and you push at the where you assume the hinges to be. Uh, this door's like uh, quite rusty at the joints and corroded. It makes a little bit of a noise, uh, but it doesn't seem as robust as you might think. Okay, so we th we think we could uh, bash it down. Potentially. I, th I think we can use force on this one, but just, just check the other before we make any undue noise. Okay, I'll give it a listen. I'm doing what, similar to what Smoke to Australia put his in. Yeah, make a perception check. This one is another door, but it's got a slit down the middle. Mm. Uh, yeah, seems clear to you as well. I'll try try the handle. There's no handle. It's just uh, uh, yeah, two two sheets of raw iron together. Try pull pull them open, see if they move easy enough. I'm not going to make you make a check because you you just about get your fingers into the crack, but there's not enough leverage for you to try and open. I can't get enough. Uh, just has anybody got a crowbar or some way of opening it? Can you see through it? Closing that, close one eye and put zero. No, I, I've got a fort. You've, fort. Got, you've got a what? <laughs> Try and punch it. It's a sliding, it slides rather than pushes, I think. And there I think we might have more luck, unless we've got a crowbar or something, I think we might have more luck with that one smoke. I'll, I'll take the glaive from my back. This is a magical artifact of a weapon, it's, hopefully it's not going to just break in half if I try this, but I'll try and jimmy it. <laughs> try, and, try and use hopefully. the 
the glaive of the coast to wedge <laughs> open the door. Yeah, I mean, it's uh, yeah, six make a hole. make an athletics check at advantage if you're going for the one with Freddy's at. Yeah, yeah, sure. Yeah, you Sorry. Jimmy the glaive and you twist it and it opens. Uh, it just might need two other people to pull open. Come on, I think yeah, we can force help. this. Yeah, Emerith will do that. Oh, Mira and Emerith, you can, can make a... Uh, through the crack first? Just looks like another stone room on the other side. Cool. So Mir and Emerith can make a... Ooh. Check. Yep. It's all right. It's a total score of above 30, which... Uh, as you press each um, uh, of this... Uh, these iron uh, junctions into the wall, they click. Uh, and yeah, it reveals the next. Uh, hold on. Uh, no, no, don't do that. <laughs> oh, no. Did you just get spooked by your own monsters? Because I don't want to do it anymore. <laughs> no, no, I've. Oh, I've no. Flugelhorn, Flugelhorn. I've done dynamic lighting. However, the door for this seems to have merged with the walls. And I'm like moving the walls instead of the door. Oh, God. This is horrible. This is like all my worst nightmares. <laughs> Hold on. <laughs> um, how, how do you rotate your token on roll 20? Mm -hmm. Aha, done it. A little, if you click on your token, there's a little sort of line coming out the bottom of it with a little square on it. Gosh, that's what that's for. Okay. <laughs> and I'm not seeing my health bar either. No, I can't oh, okay, I can You're fix not. that. We can see it. Can't I can't see the numbers, see but I can see the bar. Oh, yeah. You're not seeing your health bar? That's weird, because... No. Can't see mine either. <laughs> <gasps> that is weird. Oh, if you if you go into the bar section, do you have values in both boxes? Because yeah. if you That's don't have, right. yeah, yeah. That's great. If all the settings look right. Could be a glitch. Yeah. <clears throat> Tilly's gonna walk over to Freddy. Is there? Is it still pitch black in the other room? Yeah, there's no light source in there. I'm gonna go walk up next to Freddy and say, uh, let me let me try this. I've been trying to do this for a long time, but uh, never got myself in a total darkness before. And she's gonna put her hood up of her um, um, shadow ward cloak and go invisible. Be careful. <laughs> Where's this aura come from? Sorry, I just found I could set an aura. <laughs> yeah. Can we not just for now? <laughs> You can if it's like a spell active in combat. Um, sorry, yeah. So, so uh, Freddy is emanating twenty feet of bright light and then twenty feet of dim light. Um, so he is shining some of the way, uh, but you... if you were to duck to the left behind the wall, you could go invisible. Gareth, did you say? Did you say you've cancelled that cantrip? The light cantrip, yeah. Oh, I'm yeah. sorry, I missed that. Yeah, because yeah, I, I gave, gave all of us dark vision. Oh, okay, sorry. Uh, there we are then. Uh, so yeah, you can you just you can just dip into the room totally invisible. I'm with quietly, your... I'm quietly dipping into the room and doing no. a reconnaissance, which is unusual for Tilly. But hey, you step into the room room. and you see um, a. Uh, central column it looks like an industrial pillar um it's got like a cog around like the the kind of uh, upper third um and it seems to be like uh turning somewhat um yeah it looks very mechanical and two other doors is it... uh yeah two other doors i'm going to walk to that one and give a listen. Make a perception check. 
Yeah, seems silent to you. And do the same thing with that door. Okay, uh, as you uh, go towards that door, um, uh, I want you to make a constitution saving throw. We Six. Okay. <laughs> uh, take uh, as you as you step onto this uh, step onto the door. You kind of you feel yourself sink, and the uh, the mechanical pillar seems to set in place, uh, and it reveals uh, like a vent in the middle of this mechanical pillar, and it just. <laughs> Uh, like like a decontamination or or kind of something like that. Uh, you take uh, thirty six poison damage and oh, become fuck. poisoned. Oh. She, was she more than thirty feet away, or has it been more than ten minutes? Uh, she's gone into the room on her own, invisibly, so you can't see her. Um, so yeah, I'm going to say that, and I think it is just about more than thirty feet away. Anyway. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah. Okay. Uh, is that thing persistent? Uh, it just lets out that one as you Burst. step on the door. Uh, it steps on that plate. Um, the uh, the door in front of you is a similar one to the one you came in with, like a split down the middle. Let me just see uh, if taking damage takes care of that invisibility. Uh, no, only if I take fire or radiant damage. Mm. So, um, still invisible. Mm -hmm. um, so I uh, I cough and then I um, I I slowly move back and whisper to them that there was a there was a trap. It was a bad idea for me to do this recon. Lesson learned. <laughs> I'm gonna... I'm gonna cast... Uh, what the fuck is it? Uh, if you're asking Greg, like, for your aura of vitality, that, to, you, you'd have cast that in the pipe and it would have been more than 10 minutes to... Definitely to where you are. Or of purity, yeah. It was That's what I meant, cast yeah. When we were in combat, so yeah, it will have gone by now. Yeah, yeah. I'm going to cast a uh, lesser risk <laughs> to remove the poison effect. Okay. And, um... And, yeah, just, uh... I've, I think it's only one off. It was on that door north of here. So, other, other than that, look safe. Let's go in there. Okay. I'll, uh, I'll I'll take point. Yeah, just move your token where you want to move them. <coughs> Ellie would be staying close to Tixer. <laughs> Every now and then, you would get bumped by a shield because Emerith is shyly staying very close to her cousin. No. It's okay. Okay, so what are you doing? Uh, Tilly, which door? Door uh, up there. Uh, and I point with my invisible hand. <laughs> Upon which, realizing uh, I, I like orient smoke like to your left or whatever and say that's where the trap was. So I tell you that this was the square that I stepped into, and uh, yeah. and this, the the poison came from this pillar. It was like a burst. It was sharp, and yeah, definitely a trap. But I don't know if it's gonna happen again. Or it might have been just a one-off. Um. Has the pillar started moving again? Yeah. I know this one. Do we have? Do we have? Do we have? Do we have uh, uh, bedrolls? <laughs> oh God! 
I think I do with my bag. <laughs> with bed rolls. You know what you do with bed rolls, you're getting double poison damage. So <laughs> We lost a PC <laughs> last time. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> um... Bed rolls. <laughs> All right. Um, chuckle heads. Should we try the other door then? If that one's trapped, maybe this one isn't. Oh, maybe it is. Why don't you wait around the corner just in case? Tilly, you said this this pillar it shut that poison. Yeah, all the way around, and it just it just filled the room, and then just went away after one. Um, if you if you hold your breath, maybe it will be easier to. If it goes off, I would do it on maybe. I'll, no uh, breath. I'll direct everyone to just go back, step back into the room. I'm gonna use the uh, okay. I'll take a and rag. Just hang on, and Emerith will move so that you're within ten feet of it for two auras. Oh, okay. Aura protection is still active. That's plus three on your save. Okay. Nice. Very nice. Oh, it's like it's you and me. Is everyone else just backing out of the room for a sec? Yeah. I definitely am. I will um, use uh, cloth or whatever to cover my face as best as I can. I'm going to use the glaive uh, to um, just pr prod at the floor in front of me and see if there's a pressure plate. Uh, just make a dexterity check. Sixteen. Carefully, you crouch down on your haunches and push the glaive down, expecting a burst of smoke from behind you, a poisonous gas, a jet stream, pain. None such uh, consequence arrives. Okay. There's no pressure plate here. Um, well, still carefully and wincing at the expectation something still might happen i'm gonna go and investigate this door and see if it's uh if it's uh like the other one is yeah it, this uh... this one isn't uh pull apart it's again just a like a straight raw iron door all right i'll um i'll gesture over emerith see if she'll help and i'll give this a try like i did with the first one yep yeah she'll step up and are you trying to are you trying to push it through or um I'm gonna try and push it just to get a feel for if it if it will budge. I don't want to. Mm -hmm. I don't want to like fully try and bash it through because I don't want it to make a load yeah. of noise. I just uh, athletics check, please. Gonna give it a try. Oh Before. yeah, this one looks even in worse condition than on the other room, and it basically rattles in its uh, uh, housing. You could kick it down fairly easily. You think? Uh, this one is weak too. Um, and then just lastly before I ask anyone else to come in I'm just going to head over uh, to the first one where Tilly activated the trap and I'm going to mm -hmm. try and do the same thing I'm going to try and prod the ground for a pressure plate check out the door and see if it triggers anything or whether that's gone and done with uh, you can make a dexterity check at advantage because you know what you're checking for here okay uh, oh yeah, the twenty-two. Um, you run the glaive in between the seam of the pressure plate. Um, you um, you know that stepping on here um, with it weight, it, even as someone as light as Tilly, uh, is likely to activate the trap again. Mm. Uh, it's not a it's not a big distance to clear. So if you could get the door down on the other side, it's something that you might easily be able to jump over, uh, but it's not disarmed. Right now the door's in the way, so you'd, just, you'd end up landing mm -hmm. on the trap, wouldn't you? Okay. Yeah. Right, I'll relay that to everyone and invite them back in the room. If this one isn't trapped, so maybe this one then? I think we can force it. Mm -hmm. Just be ready, just in case it gets a little noisy in here. And with that, I will, uh, now I will forcefully push it enough to try and bust it down. Okay. Uh, then you can, uh, is Emirith helping with this or? Yeah. Yeah, take an athletics check at advantage. 23. Yeah. 
No problemo. Um, does make a noise. Clunch. Yeah. Uh, but the way is revealed. Um, being that that made a noise, mm. I was going to say, can I make a stealth check to like get down here and just scout ahead? But maybe there's nowhere to really hide. It's a stealth uh, check. It's a really tight corridor. It's single file. Um, and yeah, nowhere you can really hide. I'll I'll peer down it. Um, oh yeah, there is a long corridor. Oh, if no one's going to go first, it might as well be me. I'll gesture everyone down, and I'll just start heading down. Mm. Looks like there's another door on this side, is that? Um, yeah, Emerith moves down to the doorway and then just looks over her shoulder at Tisha and then just kind of edges forward. Tisha will grab her hand. <laughs> okay, yeah, this it's a really long, thin corridor. Okay. Um, no distinguishing features that you can see from that perspective, Smoke, other than, yeah, what, uh, 80, 90 feet? Down. Okay. And it looks like there's a door here on my left hand side, which is presumably into right. the room. We yeah, just the door that you uh, you recognise, it's a similar door from yeah. the one you were going to try earlier. Yeah, well, um, I'd actually like to declare that I'm checking as a go, being that we might be looking at pressure plates here. Uh, mm -hmm. going to just do my best to prod the ground with the glaive as I go. So okay. it's a 10 foot reach, so hopefully that's kind of... Yeah. Um, then you can make a, a dexterity check as you move forward. Let's try that. <coughs> Ooh, just a 12 okay. this time. So you're edging forward carefully. You can move... Uh, up to eight squares forward, however far you want to do that. One, two, three, four, five. I can see that I'm coming up to a corner, so I'd like to uh, sneakily peer around it. And and, and I'm, I'm waving up yeah. to follow us. Yeah, so if you go up behind Smoke, whoever's following, I think Emerith is just behind, and Tisha, you can get yourself into that corridor. Um, smoke, you can make a perception check. Okay. Freddy, are you last? Uh, uh, okay, to the to the left, smoke down that corridor. It looks like um, uh, like uh. It goes on for a long, 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 long time, like as far as you can see, with no distinguishing features. Uh, this might be like another like industrial tube that goes far away. Uh, it doesn't look to be, you know, progressing into like the main complex. Yeah, at the very least, I know that's the direction of where we came the from. Series. So yeah, exactly. It looks clear enough. <laughs> We'll, uh... we, we all turning around now? <laughs> oh, you, there's still a head you can go. Yeah, that was we can, to the left we can still well. carry on down. Mm -hmm. Don't think it's going to be useful to go. go that okay. Direction, so. With the dex check before you look and you think you breath, a, you, you breathe a sigh of relief and you carry on. Uh, I want Emerith, Tisha, Mir, Freddy, and Tilly to make dexterity saving for us. Oh no. Great. Hey, that's not bad for me. Uh, so, um, this is a unique uh, kind of uh, trap, if you like. When you when you cross into the, um, uh, if you, you cross past the junction smoke, you step on a pressure plate, you weren't light, deft enough a foot to avoid it. Everyone behind, the wall starts to close in like a compactor. Oh. Um, 
uh, you would see this automatically smoke um, and uh, Emerith fails, uh, Mir fails, um, uh, everybody else uh, succeeds. If you fail, uh, I would like you to take... How how much did Mia fail by? Because she is within range of my uh, aura that gives plus three. So she would have got a 16. Uh, 17 is the DC. Um, so, so close. you take... Um, if you fail, you take 22 bludgeoning damage as the walls start to close in. If you pass, uh, you take uh, 11... Uh, however, Smoke, you don't take it because you stepped out of it. Uh, Emerith's really close. So, um, given that you passed Smoke, uh, sorry, you didn't need to make it. You're not making it, you're not doing an action. Uh, you can uh, make a strength save to try and pull Emerith out before okay. she gets hurt. Okay. Um, strength save. Uh, 29. Yeah, so you can pull Emerith out to make Emerith succeed. So, one, two. Um, yeah, the, the this way is closing in, guys. What do you want to do? Get out of it. Move forward. I'll yeah. tell, I'll save you a bit of messing around. There you go. Reach for. <laughs> I was going to say, I'd start running so everyone can file in. <laughs> uh, this, yeah. this way is now closed to you. I'll just put like a green box here. Uh, so, oh. yeah. You, yeah. You see that? Yeah. That yeah. way is now closed. Uh oh. The way is shut. It was made okay. by Ed. I hope there was nothing important in that door to the north, you know, that we didn't open. That time. Um, when well, the, the treasure room. But sorry, when that went off, was that because we triggered another pressure plate or that? Yeah, you, you failed the dex check to avoid it. There was a plate. There. Okay, yeah. It was it. So it was. It's as though like uh, it's it's still got like a, an industrial feature. This prison and like it's made to crush things and clean things and yeah. uh, it shifts and moves around you. Destroy evidence. <laughs> maybe. It's, it's fun. It's funny how how Dan is having a fun with the dungeon when we, we traps where we have no rogue. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's, yeah. I'm in front trying to do my best. Like, uh, I'm sorry. <laughs> I mean, I will um, do the same with single file here. So sorry, I'm taking all the checks, but I, I want to be at the brunt of anything if I do get blasted with. It, yeah, it's a, it's a uniquely slim corridors. Um. If I'm doing the same methodology, do I need to make another check? Uh, um, round here, uh, yeah, make another dex check if you want. Ooh. Oh my god. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Okay, um, so you, you carry on? Yeah, 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 I'm just trying to get to the next junction. Okay, um... You get to the junction, um, you can make a perception check if you wish. <laughs> yeah. 15. Um, you look down, and this corridor um, seems to end at a dead end. Uh, straight ahead of me, or the one that... On to the, to the left, sorry. Oh, okay. is like a, a there end. is a, a steel door straight in front of you. Okay, so I'll point out it's like a dead end there. And then I'll just go and investigate the Okay, door. as soon as you step forward onto the junction one again, mm -hmm. uh, you step down on a pressure plate and the uh, the door in front of you opens. Oh, shit. Uh, hold on one second. It was just the door switch. That's it. That's, <laughs> that's, that's, <laughs> um, a metallic serpent-like creature uh, rushes straight forward towards you. Uh, no. <laughs> just say no, as in that doesn't happen. 
No. <laughs> I can't tell no. <laughs> False. It didn't happen. <laughs> we made it up. <laughs> um, Making things up again. It's going to... Um, it just rushes out to bite you. Uh, and it's at 18 to hit. It's not going to hit, is it? Uh, hold on, I should be... Why does it auto not whisper? Sorry. Um... It's the main bird from Karate Kid, isn't it? Iron Cobra. Correct. <laughs> you should feel bad. Uh, okay, so... Um... Yeah, goodness. It's a I, I, do I want to make you roll initiative? Because you roll like in a row and can't do fuck all. Um, we, yeah, I guess we have to. Um, I've got, well, in fact, shall we call the session or do you want to just okay. f try and fight this thing? Uh, it's up to you. What do you think? I think we can make one? light work of it. 15 minutes, tops? Or what do yeah, you it might not even take that long, to be honest. If it's not yeah. if it's not a crazy hard mm -hmm. creature, we'll maybe give it a shot. If there's, so. if there's five more behind this one, <laughs> then, <laughs> yeah. then we have a problem. <laughs> oh, God, I uh, could fail on my uh, initiative. Have we all rolled? Mm hmm. Is Emerith on there? Oh, yes, yeah, she is. Good. All right. Iron Cobra time. Um, going to try and bite again. Crit this time. No. Nope. You use your reaction? <laughs> yep. Okay. Yep. All that does is reduce the damage. Uh, so take uh, nine magical piercing damage smoke from the Iron Cobra, and I need you to make a constitution saving throw. Okay. 17. Uh, that's a success. Nice. Uh, so no further effect. Uh, okay. Uh, Tisha, uh, you're just behind Smoke and you've seen this uh, metallic serpent construct rush down the corridor towards him and, and bite him. So I can see it to attack it? You can see it. However, this corridor is real tight. So any range spell attack or anything like that is going to be a disadvantage unless you want to hit smoke. I don't want to hit smoke. Um, okay. Well, maybe. Smoke's real big. <laughs> uh... All right, I'm going to try. Um, uh, like frostbite on it. Ooh. Is that a range spell uh, attack or a con save? Oh, it's like a spectral hand or something. I can't remember. Uh, no, it's, it's a numbing frost that forms on this metal creature, which maybe okay. won't work. Um, so it has no con save. Con, con, con. Let's go. Fails. Yeah, it can have nine cold damage. Cool. Extremely. Yeah. Um, and yeah, she's not going to... Maybe she'll like nip past smoke to get here. To be able to see better and allow Mir to move forward. Uh, okay. Hello. All yeah. right. Mm -hmm. Cool. Uh, it's Mia's turn. <laughs> yeah. Um, Mia is um, going to have a go at uh, maybe um, Sacred Flame mm -hmm. on it. Uh, so it's a deck save. Dex save for the Iron Cobra. Mm. Passes. But it, nothing, nothing happens. happens. Okay. Um, 
yeah i don't think i'm gonna bother with spiritual weapon i think it's fine cool thanks you're welcome uh tilly you're invisible and you can hear a whole ruckus going on from around the corner yeah um i mean i'm gonna just sort of scoot past freddy's legs mm -hmm. uh and then uh what can I just see the back of Emma right now? Yeah, it's real cramped, and there's three armoured <laughs> people. She's doing she, she's doing that thing where she just tries to like, <laughs> but um, she can't really see anything. So she'll just turn to uh, Freddy and say, uh, "I'm right here. Don't step on me when you go through." And then, yeah, that's that's. And you turn. That's it. Yeah. Okay. Uh, Emerith, you see uh, Mia attempt to attack this Iron Cobra, but is struggling to direct her uh, magical spells uh, to gain uh, you know, a decent enough uh, hit on this serpent. What are you doing? Um, I am going to... Right. Um... Yeah, Mir and Smoke just um, hear Emerith shout, "Shield up!" And she is going. How tall is the? Or how how high is the ceiling? Uh, it's ten foot high, and Smoke's like how tall? Um, about seven eight feet. Yeah, yeah more. Right. Yeah, just yeah, very high with the, with the hybrid mode, like. <laughs> mm -hmm. right. uh, and Mir is what five six, five seven. Six foot. Yeah, like five nine. Right. I'm. I'm. I'll squat That's down nice. a bit. You know, like I'm not like trying to be <laughs> as full full posture. I was. Like. I was hoping to do a quick parkour <gasps> over two shields, and oh, make a dive for getting behind this thing. Um. If <laughs> cool. if smoke and Mia expend their reactions, uh, I will let you make uh, an athletics check to jump over. Off their shields and jump over the Iron Cobra. That's cool as shit. If they okay. expend yeah, I'm, I'm a shield master, I'll definitely do that. Yeah. Okay. So you can make that athletics check, Emerith. Uh, let's just see how difficult it is to get past. Uh, make some kind of roll. Hold on. Um... Oh. Cool. Yeah. Um, the the cobra is moving, and uh, I, I, I basically crit failed a dex to see if it could uh, like dodge and get in the way of you. Um, but yeah, you're there now, uh, behind it. All right. Um, I am going to a bonus action compel duel. Okay. Let me just. Pop that up. Got to make a save against that, have I? Wizzy. Yep. DC save. Oh, fail. So it is on a disadvantage if it attacks anyone but me. And Just then... pop compelled duel up for me, if you would. Oh, it didn't come through. Sorry, I cast it and it didn't work. Yeah, you can just display in VTT, I think. There we go. Yeah, and all good. Two attack. Hmm. You get advantage because of flanking. Oh right, my bad. Hang on, that I roll again. Yeah. So the first, the first roll is the one that matters. Mm hmm. Roll damage. Okay. Uh, Fourteen. And then second attack. <laughs> again, because I'm an idiot. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's just hits, and I'll drop a level one smite into it as well. Nice. Bump it smite. In. Bump the smite. Yeah, you don't drop the smite. Come on. You I'm trying, to find, not... I'm trying to find. <laughs> oh, it's features and traits, isn't it? Mm-hmm. Um, so I've got so another. It's just two d eight, isn't it? Uh, it's enough to destroy it. 
Yay! Yeah. One round. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, well, that was a, a extremely, uh, you know, ingenuitive com combat-wise, like jumping over, getting advantage. Uh, yeah, you dispatch the Iron Cobra uh, and are able to make safe passage into the room from whence it came. So if you want to assemble your tokens in there, I think we will call the session at that point. In that room? Yeah. Ooh. It's exactly enough for all of our tokens. Imagine that. Imagine. Um, okay, so yeah, uh, the dungeon crawl has commenced. Um, nice. I, there's one last thing, Greg, that I'd like to do. Go on. Who... Who do you hate most? Chamsalvuk, Libby, or Nain? Oh. Um, <laughs> it would be one of the two that Emerith is not related to. Okay, so you've got a tiefling mute thief and a human outspoken scholar. He's a prick. Right. Um, Libby's a healer, not just a thief. She's Honest, a... Honestly, hey. at this point, Emerith is just so... Uh, I'm not, not talking about Emerith, I'm talking about Gil. Oh, Gil. Um, yeah, Gil, Gil would go for the tiefling. Okay. <gasps> no. We'll find no. out what happens to Libby no. next time. <laughs> Uh, I will say, guys, I think I'm on a course until 6 o'clock next week in Blackburn, so it might be a slightly later start if you still want to play, um, but I'll confirm that with you in the chat uh, ASAP. Because it might finish early. I'm not sure exactly when it's going to finish. Well, Just tell cool. them you've got a D&D &D session to get there. We, exactly. have, <laughs> we, have a bunch, we have a bunch of people in the Twitch stream. Good. Yeah, thanks very Thank much for watching. Don't forget yeah. the yeah. Discord. We've got the amazing Discord channel with over 100 people that are all amazing people with doing D&D &D things. And um, <laughs> this will be on YouTube as well. Don't forget to follow the YouTube. This will be up shortly after. This one should be on there tomorrow. They're usually on the day after. Uh, and last but not least, a couple of us have got some, some of the, the merch. <laughs> Not to forget, that's at www.rev-level.com slash bad-college or even easier, just click the link in chat um, and get yourself a t-shirt or cap. Yeah, thanks for watching. Thank you so much, everyone. See you next time. See you next time. <laughs> See you next time. Thank you. Bye.